Hi, I don't know who is here. Oh, Amy is here. <laughs> Hi, Amy, it is lovely to have you here. I am in my new setup. <laughs> so finally, after weeks and weeks of promising you guys that there was going to be a slightly different setup, we're sort of here. But it is kind of weird because obviously my computer and my screen is down there. You guys are up there. So hopefully I will remember to look up at you. <laughs> <laughs> say hello um and we've got the video sets to be building up today Pucky's barking a lot I think it's probably going to be a bit confusing for him to have me sat in this room and talking because in this room I don't spend like loads of time hanging out in here talking or building or doing stuff so <laughs> yeah, it's all a bit new so we will get cracking. I think, Amy, it might be just you and me for now, which is really cool. So let me know if you've got a preference, Amy, with what you would like me to build. I do have all the Wave 1 minifigures here, so all 12 of them, I hope. I haven't gone through and double-checked them, but the seller that I got them from on eBay has labelled them all from 1 to 12. Oh, Jake's here as well. <laughs> Hey Jake. Um, so we can open up all of them. And then I do have each of the six build box as well. Oh, Ratner is here. Hi, Ratner. <laughs> so lovely to have you here. So yeah, I'm in my new setup. So if you've got any preferences for what you would like me to open up first, what you would like me to get building with first, <laughs> let me know. Do you know? <laughs> Hello, it's lovely to have you here. I hope that you are well. So, yeah, I'll let you guys catch up because I know that there is a little bit of a delay. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you can let me know what you would like me to get building with first. I'm hoping that I also have everything that I need in this room since it's the first time that I am building in here. So I had to remember to get my scissors and my lip gloss <laughs> over here. <laughs> You didn't just spend hundreds on Wave, one of a theme that has a whole other Wave of sets coming out next month, did I? Of course, I did, Jake, because that's what I do. <laughs> um, I No, I don't think, no, I didn't spend hundreds because the beatboxes were discounted, so I got them um, a lot cheaper than what they were listed on for the um, Lego website. And then these I got off eBay from a really fantastic seller. And I'm hoping that this same seller will also have the Looney Tunes figs as well so that I can get them from them. Thanks, Gino. That's so nice to see and hear. Um yes I know <laughs> that's why I thought it would be kind of cool to film in here as well so um this shelf over here will eventually be um the goblin village with the goblin king but at the moment I've also got Snow White's cottage and then I've also got the Bell's castle over there as well in behind me I've got my Lion King mock which is probably a bit dark at the moment and then I've also got Winnie the Pooh that we built last week, which is really cool as well. And then I've also got Hedwig in here as well. And then over here I have the White Elf shelf as well. Up here where you can't quite see it, <laughs> I do have the like little woodland area with Farron and Rosalind. And then also just up here <laughs> where you guys also can't quite see I've got all my sig figs. So I've got the Maniac and Robin Hull and Amy is up there as well. <laughs> but none of you guys can see all of that. <laughs> so, yeah. But, again, we'll just see what happens. I think that the elf shelves will probably end up staying where they are because they're quite tricky to move. But possibly some of these shelves might rotate around a bit depending on what I've got. Yeah. The beatboxes are half price over here. I might get one once all my money is gone. I know, that's the other thing, isn't it? All the new stuff. I, that's, I love the Lego books as well, and I just sort of went, it's really nice to have the 
Harry Potter ones up over here, including the Monster Book of Monsters. And then I've got all the Disney ones over here as well. And then I tried to put them in colour order as well and then colour match them with the little cubes too. <laughs> so does anyone have any preferences for where to start with the video sets? I haven't seen anyone request anything to start with. I'm quite keen to open up the mermaid box. So what I might do is I might get going with this one. <laughs> And uh, and then just see how I go from here. Luckily, Gino, I I got the these packs from eBay. So the seller did say that they had opened them up to check what figures were in them, and then you could just buy all twelve from them as well. So I thought that that would be that's usually how I end up getting figs anyway because most of the eBay sellers here <laughs> in Australia charge free shipping which is really cool and then they're not usually that much more expensive so I think that each of those instead of being six dollars each were like seven dollars each and I just sort of went I quite like paying just an extra dollar the free shipping which I would normally have to pay for anyway here where I live <laughs> because I live in the middle of nowhere well not quite but you know it's it's not very <laughs> popular and oh Lego Bricks is here as well hey buddy <laughs> it's nice to have you here um and um and yeah so I just sort of went if I had to pay shipping it would end up being at you know that amount of money anyway I'm not going to know where to put anything I'm reluctant to put my water over by it next to my computer because I can be a bit clumsy and I would hate to spill <laughs> and then I had to have this little tray here to put all the parts in because this is a really skinny desk and normally I just throw everything everywhere <laughs> oh Tasman Bricks is here again <laughs> nice to see you mate it's lovely to have you here. So let's see. Let's see. Where do I start? Let's, let's open up. Oh, and the other thing that I was wondering was whether or not I should put all the beat bits onto a separate plate. So I can actually grab a little plate from my collection because over here, all these drawers over here are like my little spare parts collection. Pucky's just sat over there at the doorway. He's so, you're so cute, baby. You are. And you don't know what's going on. And it's very strange in here for you. Right. Uh, the rubbish will just go there. Oh, yes. Mermaid. Everyone's saying mermaid, which is really cool. Well, not everyone. Gino and Amy are saying mermaid. And me too. <laughs> so let's do that. And love the dots. Yeah, I love the dots as well. So... Um, some of this is dots, so some of these containers are dots and some of it's just parts containers. So these three containers stacked up here are the dots bracelets and lots of extra dots. And then those ones over there are actually just parts. So <laughs> you'll get to see my Lego madness <laughs> in reality now. I don't know whether or not this is a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, Lego video sets are awesome. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, this will this will be my first time building them, so it's going to be a little bit interesting. But yeah, I'm. I think that they are like really bright and colourful, and lots of fun, which you know obviously is part of what draws me into into Lego is just seeing something that's really like you know colourful and fun and and everything so we have our mermaid in place oh that's going to be terrible <laughs> oh no but we have the mermaid in place which you guys can't see because all my lighting's off and <laughs> the new space is going to be very weird with everything <laughs> for a little while anyway okay let's put this thing together <laughs> Perth <laughs> mostly the end of the earth world yeah <laughs> It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, Darren. Hope that you and Coralie are going really well, mate. It's lovely that you have stopped by. Oh, hang on. Am I doing this right? No, I'm not. Oh, 
Okay, I'm sure I'm going to get better at this <laughs> the more of these I build. <laughs> and Tasman Bricks is saying happy Saturday. I hope I've had a good week. Yeah, I have. It's been like really sort of quite nice and relaxing um, week again. So I I think that next week's probably going to be a little bit different, but we'll see how how that plays out. But yeah, and then even today, the weather was sort of quite nice, nice enough. Um, and I managed to get most of a video edited as well. So it's only a very short little one. Um, but hopefully I can do the voiceover for that tomorrow, which should be really good fun. And then I will be working on a, another video as well. <laughs> Um, which will hopefully be the mini doll haul from uh, Denmark. <laughs> so if um, if Woodshop Teacher pops into the chat, then hopefully I will get, <laughs> get going with that. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay. I think the next bit that I'll do is... Um, okay, I'm not going to put the beat bits in here. I don't, how does this go together? Oh, this goes on to here. Is that right? Oh, yeah. So that goes on like that. Oh, cool. Right, that's cute. I might just, can I give her the car, uh, the guitar? And, oops. Oops. Yeah, let's give her the guitar to hold because I think that that's still going to be really cute and pretty. <laughs> and I wish I had some way of showing you guys Pucky because he is literally just sat at the door of, of this room looking at me and looking all cute. Pucky! <laughs> and then, oh, Jake has to go soon. That's, oh, I've got to pick up a shed I bought to store Lego in. <laughs> Yeah, living the dream, Jake. You're living the dream. Um, I did check my Facebook last week, but I don't know whether or not the pictures you'd sent had come through or whether or not I've just gone really dense with Facebook, Amy. Um, I wish that oh, <laughs> they something mini. I oh, wish that they were mini dolls. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really lucky, Gino. I I will say like. Um, being an adult who works, you know, at the at the moment, well, I've always had reasonably okay jobs and and really nice jobs and that type of thing as well. So, I think I have just been like quite blessed to, you know, be able to spend the money on things that I would like to. <laughs> and some of the people in the chat will also say that I'm not necessarily the most responsible adult <laughs> when it comes to finances. Um, but again, you know, I just sort of think that it's really nice to have Lego as a hobby and for me to be able to enjoy it as well. So, um, yeah, it is, it's really nice to be able to do that. But I do know that I am definitely like the exception and not the norm. So I totally acknowledge that as well. Um, but one of the things that I do actually really like about, um, you know, uh, watching YouTube and watching Lego YouTube videos is that I get to enjoy the sets that I don't have by watching other people's <laughs> videos. <laughs> so even today I was watching a few Lego YouTube videos, which was really, really good fun. I am, you know, I've, I've gotten a little bit behind on a few videos, so I've got a few more to catch up with, but that happens as well. So hopefully over the next little while I'll be able to catch up. Oh, Joe's here. Hey, Brickish. It's lovely to have you here. Yes, that's the new, new setup. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Oh, and I agree. I love, love the mermaid hair. I love the mermaid colour palette. I think that her face print is really pretty as well. Gino <laughs> loves mini dolls. Yes, me too. Uh, yeah, I think so as well, Jake. I think it would have been really good fun to have a little bit of a mix between mini mini figs and mini dolls. I know that um, Elle was a little bit disappointed that we weren't getting another 
mini doll theme and I kind of agree with her as well we haven't had another mini doll theme for ages and at the moment we've only got princess and friends which is fine I'm still super happy with having those two options again I do really like um the video sets and the dot sets as well so yeah oh Amy is on the road and the wi-fi will go on and off that's fine hun I'm it's just nice that you're here when you can be here. Oh, and Robin's internet is working again as well. Hi, Robin. <laughs> I hope that you and Mrs. H are going really well. And that, you know, things are things are good for you, my friend. And uh <laughs> rude responsible. Yeah, I know. I'm such a terrible <laughs> example of how not to be responsible with finances. No, it no. I'm I'm okay. I am. I'm okay. I'm. It's not the best, but I'm definitely not the worst. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Awkward. Oh, Robin's saying that they picked up two of the video beatboxes this morning for less than half price. I think that that sounds very very reasonable. I must admit that I wouldn't have got these beatboxes if they were full price either. I just don't think that they would have been worth it at all for, for full price, what they were asking for. Um, I think that probably in Australia the Lego price was $22 and I, don't, I, I just don't think that that's um, reasonable at all. That's not for me at all paying that amount for these. <laughs> Ikea must love the Lego Ikea. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> My three Ikea bookcases. <laughs> and then a few of you are saying hello to each other. Who else? Oh, Will's here as well. Hi, Will. It's lovely to have you here, mate. Oh, and Rogue is here as well. Hi, Jezza. It's lovely to see you here. You will see over here, I do have my Lemanio mug, which Wombat looks after. <laughs> so I did make sure that that was just right behind me, which is really cool. Everyone's saying hello to everybody else. Fab. Oh, that's so nice. I love seeing all of the hello um, to each other, with each other. Right. That, I think, is our gorgeous mermaid beatbox sorted. Oh, <laughs> as it comes apart in my arms, <laughs> my hands. <laughs> so there's the mermaid on that side and a little ice cream on this side. Oh, I'm going to have to fix up these, this lighting because it's really like blowing everything out. But yeah, that looks really, really cute. I'm really happy with that. So first one down, I do have all my beat bits here, which I think I will go through and pop onto... And then, oh, there's a whole heap of extra parts. Did I miss something? <laughs> I missed, must have missed something. Uh, oh, oh no, I missed a whole heap of stuff. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, dear. Not paying attention at all to what I'm building and only following what's going on. In the, yes, Wombat finally has a home. I know, I know. It's so nice to have him there as well. So just over my shoulder. <laughs> So, yeah, so it's a nice little spot for Wombat. And then my daughter loves the mermaid. Oh, I don't blame her. I think that it is probably one of the nicest looking, like, mini figs that we've had in such a long time. I'm not a mini fig expert by any stretch of the imagination, but as soon as I saw um, her, I was just like going, yeah, she looks amazing. Right, let's see if I can leave that there, here, there. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can't really see it. I agree, Amy. <laughs> I think that it's really exciting to see uh, what Wave 2 is bringing to us. Right, any requests for what I build up next? I should have said that ages ago. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Will. I always forget to do all those youtube -y things. <laughs> Right, shall I see if I can find a plate to pop the beat bits on? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Since all my parts are here, there we go. I've got this one, which is that beautiful pale minty green colour. Oh, <laughs> 
Yes, I know, Jake. Uh, the the wave two has already been revealed. I think that we were talking about that a little bit last week, but that might have been when you weren't actually in the chat because you were out and about last week um, doing your family stuff, much needed family stuff. So, yeah, I think um, I watched, I think it was Jang Bricks's sort of conversation around that type of thing. I, I agree, Will, completely agree as well. I think that, which way is, does that go this way? I don't know. Um, I think that it's much nice to have something that's buildable. So I really like the idea of having, like, the ghetto blaster and then the little uh, K-pop area. And then I think that there was sort of like a cake-type one as well that I saw, which I thought looked really interesting which was kind of cool. Um, oh, Gino, what is wave two? So uh, if there is like a theme, so video is a theme, Disney princess is a theme, and um, say friends is a theme, what I'm building tonight is part of wave one, which was released at the beginning of the year. And when we're talking about wave two, that's going to be released in a few weeks, I think. So Every time a new theme has like a new release, we call that like a wave. A wave of sets is being released. So they just sort of roll through. And then there will be two new mermaids in wave two, a pirate mermaid and Japan mermaid. Yeah, I did um, see some of the new mermaid stuff and I thought that that was really cool as well. And I think, was there a... Was there a um, a figure that had that same hairpiece as this mermaid, but it was plain. <laughs> Interesting. Video isn't selling that well in store, uh, although the bandmates are very popular. Yeah, but I think the price isn't right, Robin. Like, you can't you can't expect people to be spending twenty two dollars on on this when we would get you know, the little cubes for like $10 or the heart boxes, which are just up behind here where you can't see them. I think that they were about $10 as well. And I think that people have just sort of looked at, at this and sort of gone, oh, I don't see the value for money in that. Uh, possibly, I don't know. I don't know. So there are some of the bandmates, which possibly you might be able to see, <laughs> but probably not. But that's the start of our bandmate collection for tonight. Uh, and people are saying, oh, Mark's here. <laughs> hey, Mark, it's lovely to have you here. You haven't missed much. There's just been a lot of rambling on tonight. <laughs> um, so far, as always, let's go in with the unicorn next. But, again, feel free to let me know in the chat if you guys have got any preferences <laughs> around which uh, beatbox you'd want me to open up next. So I think that we still have the hip hop rapper, we've got the DJ Spaceman, we've got the punk pirate and the llama. So we've still got those four to go through. So, it, again, feel free to let me know any preferences. Um, and I did see, Mark, earlier that you had a comment about what was the test for. The test was <laughs> checking this new setup. So hopefully that kind of makes a bit more sense now. <laughs> so uh, please put a pick of wave two. Oh. I... And the one of the worst <laughs> technological people. So I don't I don't know whether or not I'm going to even be able to do that for you, buddy. Oh no. Yeah. That yeah, the price, I think the price is the pricing I think is part of part of part of the challenge, definitely. Oops, and I'm going to end up with heaps more <laughs> of the orange brick separators as well, which is cool. That's fine. Right, more, more stuff. So we've got the unicorn, which oh, I didn't look at what the name was. <laughs> What's the unicorn called? Oh, unicorn DJ. Cool. Alrighty, unicorn DJ. 
Oh, yes, Amy, the Candy Castle. I keep forgetting the name of the Candy Castle. <laughs> I don't know why that's been such a problem for me to try and remember. <laughs> oh, Tasman. Okay, yep. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, no, that sounds lovely, Tasman Bricks. I'd love, absolutely love that. I um, haven't been on social media much, but hopefully I will be returning to a bit more of my normality <laughs> soon. Oh, Jezza, it's been a while. Apart from climbing mountains and walking the coast, I finally got around to building something new out of Lego this week. Yay! <laughs> That's so nice to hear, Jezza. Really, really good. I'm so glad to hear that. It's always lovely to hear that you're out and about and enjoying the coast and, and your walks as well. I think that that sounds absolutely glorious. So, yeah, that's really nice to hear. And I think it's been quite interesting as well this week. I did actually get quite inspired to do more building as well. So, I don't know, maybe things are just sort of, there's a different energy in, in the world at the moment or something that's just sort of perking a few of us up. Um, because I was able to do a bit more to Snow White's Castle, which probably nobody else will be able to tell that I've done anything new with. <laughs> um, and then I've almost finished Jasmine Two's Palace as well, like this, the, my second Jasmine Palace as well, which is just over here behind the, 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 the thing. Uh, and then Robin's asking, tell us more, which is super cool. Uh and then, oh, and then Brickish is saying to Gino, the images are actually on lego.com. Yes, that's a very good point, Brickish. Thank you so much. Oh, Tech's here as well. Hey, Tech, it's lovely to have you in the chat. I'm so great. Uh, in the last, have you seen the new castles? I think I have, but they're probably not something that I'm going to pay a lot of attention to because um, I'm not a huge castle person. <laughs> it's, it, you know, the castles aren't really my thing. So I'm definitely going to be taking a cue from some of the other castle fanatics that I know that do enjoy their castle, living their best castle life. Oh, my gosh, I forgot to put on the, the unicorn tail. Whoopsies. How terrible of me to forget that part so yeah it'll just be interesting to um see what 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 other people are, th are saying about that robin is saying disappointed with the three and one castle set Tasman saying the unicorn dj is also one of my daughter's favorites <laughs> it seems like her and i have very similar taste in lego <laughs> um so, yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> she sounds like a wonderful person. <laughs> Since the mermaid and the unicorn were the first two that I gravitated towards. Ah. And, uh, and in order to sort out, like, my little new setup here, I've had to do so much reshuffling and so much reorganising, which has been really nice. But I tell you, it's been one of those things where I think that I've been like super productive in a day and I'm, I'm getting stuff organised and sorted, but nobody else can see any difference to anything that I've done. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Those three jaws down the bottom, I've spent ages organising and sorting everything out and that's super important. No, Nobody else cares. <laughs> Which is fine. They don't. They don't need to. But it's very much one of those things. And then I did get a whole, not a whole heap. I bought three storage boxes where you can actually put in like the files in order to store my instructions. Three is not enough. <laughs> so yes, it's very funny. Yeah, the the Lego sets. Yeah, come with a brick separator. So I'm going to end up with what's kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> you're here embarking all, all night tonight, I think, because he is going to be very confused about what's happening here today. <laughs> That's not his norm at all. Uh, Rogue saying, love building speeders. Yeah, I've, where, where have I, you have, you've, you've given me a speeder and I think, I think it's up here on the shelf 
that nobody can see yet. Um, but yeah, which is amazing. I love I love your speeder throw. They're awesome. Um, so uh, I've done a few in the past. Yes, have one. Check out Rogue Speeders and have had some inspiration for something a bit different for about two months. Somehow I've made uh, made it in one morning. It's built for speed. It's very cool. Yay! And then, oh, it's so nice to have you here, Dino. It's absolutely fantastic. And then, yeah, sometimes she loves Disney as well. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, the, I, I really like the books up here. I think that they look really cool. I um I think that uh, Claire on Brick Emotion has her Disney book, books on one of her shelves as well, and I really liked the look of that. So I think I might have got an, a little bit of inspiration from her. But this table was over by the window before, and I did have all the books lined up um, on that for a little while, but I did have to rearrange my bookcases in order to end up with an extra shelf here. <laughs> because I've got lots of junk and then oh so Jezza is saying that he has plans to put pictures of the latest three new builds on his Flickr account um, I've got four or five other builds I have pictures to put up also oh fantastic that sounds awesome Take care, Jake. It's always a lovely to have you in the chat, but enjoy your day, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Brooke Emotion as well. Uh, she's so awesome and creative. So, yeah, <laughs> just wonderful. She has some fantastic videos and uh, her repaints have just been absolutely fantastic. She actually inspired me to repaint um, my mermaids my little mermaids so that I would have all the sisters like what she did ages ago and then I've also done a few original repaints as well um, uh, just based on based on being inspired by Claire I think that she's she's awesome so which is cool it's really nice I think that that's also one of the things that I really enjoy about hanging out um, in the Lego community as well is just seeing and hearing other themes or sets or whatever that people are passionate about so um you know like robin who's in the chat is like my go-to fabuland expert and i love watching the fabuland videos you know the fabuland little characters and animals are so super cute and and amazing <laughs> it's adorable <laughs> i can't help but use that word all the time and um yeah, and I just think that it's really awesome to, you know, look at uh, different themes and, and different types of Lego that people are inspired by and enjoy building, which is super cool. Yay! <laughs> Doc's here. Hi, Doc. It's been a little while since I've seen you. I hope that you've been well, my friend. It's lovely, lovely to have you here. Right, I am <laughs> trying to build and concentrate. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I think it is one of those things where it is just definitely like I think what Claire sort of said more recently, I think that it just comes with practice. And so I, I just have to um, do my best and give it a go. I think that some things are easier to paint than others. So I have been quite lucky at being able to paint mermaid tails. <laughs> so that seems to be okay for me to be able to manage to do. Um, but there's other things where I'm just sort of like going, I getting the right level of detail is really difficult, which is again another reason why I love watching Brick Emotion um, do her thing because her repaints are just awesome. All right, let's try and power through. <laughs> see, see what I've got to do with this little character I think I think I'm actually building a unicorn I'm not entirely sure but I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a, a unicorn oh yeah and everyone's saying hello oh Amy <laughs> that's just behind my camera over here and I I it keeps I'm, I <laughs> 
it is definitely one of those things in my life where I can't seem to build small things very easily. And so it, things just keep getting larger and more grand. Um, but, but yeah, I'm really liking the look of uh, the castle so far. I do need to order a few more parts, roof parts, but I have managed to put a lot of the foliage in, um, which personally I think has made quite a bit of difference to how it's sort of come together and how it's all looking. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, let's do some stretching. <laughs> I do have my little mermaids here, but, oh, my gosh, the lighting is terrible. It's, uh -huh. Let's just move that lamp around a bit. So there are some of my mermaids. So, yeah, you can only get the green and the pink in the official colours. Oh, and then the other thing that's really quite funny as well, Angela from Geo the Jedi uh, said when she when I told her that I would build her <laughs> mermaid fig or when I has told her that I would build her a mini doll sig fig, she was like, can I be a mermaid? So I made her as a mermaid as well because I do have all my sig figs up here, which you can't see. <laughs> I will have to sort of see if I can sort that out a bit <laughs> but yes there you go <laughs> that's that's some of my mermaids um which is really good fun the the tops haven't been repainted some of the crowns have been repainted and some of the hair has been repainted as well <laughs> can't wait for the fairy and the dragon beatbox says yes, i know there, I think that there are a lot of things to love about the, the video theme, except for the price. <laughs> That's a lot of moments, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's it's a uh, as 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 Gino will attest to, <laughs> because Gino's been saying that there's a lot of Lego in this room. Yeah. I I do tend to get a little bit carried away with things. <laughs> And uh, quite off, well, because I live in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> it does mean that most of my Lego I have to order um, from Bricklink, especially with extra parts. And if I see anything on Bricklink that I think that I would enjoy or would like to, to grab a hold of, then I usually get that as well. <laughs> so, yeah, it, I, I, you know. It's one of those things about having Lego as a hobby is that it's pretty much Lego and only Lego. <laughs> it's the hobby. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, and Gino's saying, I was just going to turn off my computer when the reminder of the stream <laughs> got to you. Oh, that's so nice, though. It's lovely to have you in the chat. Um, and it's really nice that this is the first time that you've been able to join us as well. So, yes. <laughs> Never I'm building Lego seems to explode from my fumbling hands in all directions and I'm forever picking up bits <laughs> off the floor. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I think that one of the things that is actually quite funny is I've, I, like, I mean, I've said this before, but Pucky is much more of a companion dog than, than anything, particularly um, anything else. Um, so he's never really been trained to much. <laughs> it's more like I just, you know, make requests <laughs> and then he decides to follow them or not. And mostly he doesn't. Um, oh. oh, okay, that's, that's good to go in the thing. Oh, and I've still got to do more. Um, and... But one of the things that Pucky knows to do or not to do is that he doesn't touch the Lego when it explodes all over the place. Whenever I have a Lego explosion, um, he knows that he just has to leave that, leave that be. <laughs> not have to worry about that. Right. Oh, gosh. Um, right. Open this up. And then I do have the little purple record, but I might not put the record in the unicorn's hand. That might just 
go on the side. So there we have our cute little unicorn beatbox with very terrible lighting. I will have to work on the lighting. And that's definitely a little unicorn picture. I can see that definitely when I hold it up to the camera. I might actually put these this way. Alrighty, oh, that's... <laughs> Gino is on Dad's computer. That's cool. It's really nice when we get to share things with our family members like technology. Oops, how do I fold that up? And Taz and then is saying that he's enjoying it, my stream. Thank you. <laughs> That's so nice to hear. Right, more beat bits. Let's get these out and see what we've got oops i've already got a double up but there's also some here that are <laughs> like purple skull <laughs> we see what we want to see dark what can i say <laughs> is it must is it like the rorschach images <laughs> is that what these are <laughs> What do you see in this ink blot? What do you see in this beatbox image? <laughs> do you see a unicorn or a purple skull? <laughs> oh dear, yes. Oh, the unicorn beatbox is six pound here in the UK. Yeah, finally, finally it's at the price that it should be. Right, oh, I've got another double up as well. Right, uh, let's see. Shall I put the double ups? To, I might start putting the double ups together. Uh -oh. Or is this going to be more work than it's worth? <laughs> Quite possibly. Especially as I get more of these out. Right, let's put those ones on top of each other. But to be fair, there's only those ones as double ups by the looks of things oh did i <coughs> did i get any of the blind boxes yes i ended up getting all 12 on ebay um for quite a good price i <laughs> because i live in the middle of nowhere it would be really tricky for me to be going into the store all the time to try and get beat boxes for different beats or whatever and and that type of thing so there there are a few things where I just sort of go I'm an irresponsible adult <laughs> who spends more money than what she should on Lego so I might as well just get the Lego sets that I want um and not have to fuss <laughs> so that's that's that was my plan for the beat boxes Shall we open a couple of those before we move on to the next one? And then we've got, <laughs> no, we've also seen the purple scarf. Oh no, you guys, terrible. There's the other beat bits. So we do have a bit more of a collection going there. Oh, Brett's here. <laughs> hey Brett, it's so lovely that you've stopped off. And then, oh, thank you so much, Tasman. Yeah, I, I must admit, I do absolutely love streaming with you guys. And it's so nice to have got this little setup because I can actually keep all this set up here like this. Um, so that it's going to be much easier for me to jump in and, and guest stream with others and potentially also do like um, little surprise streams every now and again as well, which would be really nice. So, cool, right, first, first of the little blind bag, blind box, <gasps> is the ice cream dude, which is also a really cool little fig, I must admit, super cool fig. So that's really cool. <laughs> Everyone's talking about how much they've spent on the different uh, different uh, boxes, which is really cool. People are saying hello to each other. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 
So Brickish is saying that she has all the beatboxes but just five of the bandmates. Oh, Gino also sees the purple skull. <laughs> yeah, I guess kind of. To me, when I actually look at her in real life, it doesn't it isn't that clear. But when I look at it on camera, it actually looks more clear like a like a like a unicorn. Purple skull. <laughs> So let's see the little oops, am I going the wrong way? Oh yes, I am. Right. Okay. Um, cool. Oh, I will. I will put these beat bits. Oh. oh, it is just it is it is a random assortment. Okay. Oh, and I also have two matching ones. I have an original and then I've got two more matching ones. Right. Let's <laughs> I've just gotten halfway through absolutely everything before I've been completely distracted. Oh my gosh. It's it's my squirrel mentality, guys. There's the little ice cream dude, which you won't really be able to see. I am going to pop ice cream dude on there is that how we're meant to display them i guess i guess so right more of the instruction pile but yes i do have more double ups so shall we add in double ups over here i've got two of the cat albums and two of the ghost albums as well i think i might put the ice cream beat bit over here as well <laughs> I don't know why just makes sense to me and what other beat bit would probably go quite nice with this one oh, oh I think I've done that one upside down too Oopsies. um maybe I'll just do this bubble one as well so that they're all like lime green tiles. Ta -da! And then <laughs> they come out with such a short beatbox, yeah. Not yet, but when they do, I'm telling you, the the uh, the pastry enthusiasts are going to go bananas. <laughs> the shark, we've got the shark up next. Okay, right, so we don't, oh, we do get told which ones are the originals. Okay, right, but we don't get, whoopsies, oh, another double up, but we don't get, it like, well, I don't suppose we really need build instructions, do we? I don't know. Maybe I should just have one on here. Is that better? <laughs> I'm just asking so many useless questions today. I don't know. I don't know. I think that goes that way. Right, we'll just leave the with the original bit. There's the little shark dude, which has very impressive printing. And even, I must admit, oops, even the printing on the back of the torso piece is super cool. Like, yeah. But Lego, Lego pulled out the stops for the printing, which is awesome. And people are saying hello to each other. <laughs> Tech saying, okay, Joe, fingers crossed you can get the bandmates for cheaper and it will even itself out. Yes, that's what we try and do with our Lego purchases. <laughs> Let's try and find a way to get things to be even, evened out. 
Right, let's do one more bandmate. Oh, and then in the chat, let me know if you've got any preference for which beat box you want me to open up next. We've got the pirate, the llama, the spaceman, or the robot DJ. So just let me know if you've got any preferences. If not, I'll just be picking one at random. So we shall see. Right, I think, oh, this is the ninja. We've got the ninja up next. Oh, I've got to check which is the original tile, the unique tile. Uh-oh. But, yeah, I was really... Um, I was really happy with finding this particular seller on eBay that had all these figs. Um, I thought that it was a really reasonable price, especially not having to worry about scrounging and trying to figure out which ones are which and um, what's, what ones I needed and all of that type of stuff. And then, oh, where are we up to? I, uh, that'll be interesting because I'm actually not 100% sure how many... Um, how many tiles there are so if anyone knows let me know how many tiles original tile unique tiles there are and then I can sort of maybe do a bit of a look and and scan um right oh whoops I forgot to put the little breathing apparatus -y type thing on whoops uh, <laughs> you can tell that I'm not used to putting those on oh dear it's not the norm for me. We don't usually have that type of stuff in friend sets. Right, there's those three. Oh, I've got the panda tile. I really wanted the panda tile, so I'm pleased to have gotten that. And another unique one. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. So at the moment, I've only got five double ups. Everything else is, um, is actually unique. So that's kind of cool. And then oh, the seagull playing the ukulele tile. Yes. <laughs> I did get the seagull playing the ukulele tile, which was super cool. <laughs> Love that. Um, yeah, the Looney Tunes CMFs are going to be the next thing. I'm hoping that this same eBay seller will, will, um, will get me there. Oh, Gino is saying the llama. So, yes, let's do the llama next. And the llama was actually on top. Llama Llama. <laughs> pirate Pirate. Okay. Uh, we'll do the Pirate after. We'll do the Pirate <laughs> next. And then Amy is saying, I got the Candy Mermaid, the ice cream guy. Candy Mermaid, the ice cream guy. Cotton Candy Cheerleader and the Folk Genie. Okay, so we'll have to keep our eyes out for the Cotton Candy Cheerleader and the Folk Genie as well. Right. Let's open up the Llama. Oops, we can put that back. <laughs> back over there in my little tray my trying not to roll off the uh <laughs> roll off the desk tray <laughs> llama wins yes but only for a little while this <laughs> will be getting opened up tonight eventually <laughs> righty -o. let's see oh this is a very colorful one we've got yellow red and lime green which is kind of cool oh fantastic hooked you up with the looney tunes yeah i am um... yes i always just like buying all all of them <laughs> one big hit <laughs> i don't know whether or not that's just me being lazy or whatever <laughs> But it's just, I just find it easier to just go with that. Right. Uh, let's see. Where do we start here? Here's the little llama dude who looks, oh, my gosh, has um, has roller skates and everything. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realise that the llama had roller skates. And I hope that we're getting maracas in here as well. Oops, that's not meant to be there. Yippee. Right. And then I just looked down and I was like, why does the llama need a mouth breathing piece? <laughs> Realised that that's just 
leftover <laughs> leftover parts from the previous build. Oh my gosh, oh, so dense and forgetful sometimes. It's ridiculous. Oh, and when we even get the little green maracas. Oh, I love that. That's so super cute. <laughs> And then Gino is looking for the rainbow and unicorn dots, dots bracelets. Um, and does anyone know where to get them? Um, where did I get mine from? Oh, you see, Gino, I think I just got mine from like Kmart. I get a lot of my Lego from Kmart because that's like the cheapest place to get Lego here in Australia. I don't know how helpful that is. <laughs> but, yeah, I usually just sort of shop around and see um see where it ends up being quite useful <laughs> joe don't say that <laughs> you'll give you'll make me have another meltdown <laughs> i love you all equally <laughs> and if i could build two at once then i would it was it was literally just because llama came up first <laughs> But pirate is definitely happening next. <laughs> now I'm going to be oh, befuddled if I don't end up building the. If I forget between now and then. Right now, now what do we do? Oh, yellow. We've got yellow. Oops, we've got a yellow beat bit there. That's not the part that I want. I want the little yellow jumper, and then we do a little green diamond kind of looks right cool so yeah this is a very different well yeah very different color scheme compared to the last two which again is not really all that surprising so not really like very vibrant okay now this goes in that, that bit and then we can pop that in there. And then, <laughs> and then I don't know what we're building on this thing. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what mosaic design we're now building. Is it a pirate? <laughs> pirate, the chat's getting cheeky. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> the chat the chat my chat does get cheeky sometimes, which is <laughs> not a bad thing. <laughs> Right, let's see how we can go. Oh, we've got one by ones. I'm not entirely sure what I'm building. Am I building the llama face? I don't know. I'll have to just build build away and then <laughs> see what it looks like to me once I look at it on screen. <laughs> when I show it to you guys, hopefully it will make more sense to me. And then, <laughs> thanks, Joe. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> It, uh, yeah, you, it, yeah. I just, it's just so nice chatting to you guys. It does, it really makes my week, especially since things have been like really weird for me lately as well. So, yeah, which hopefully should be improving soon, but we shall see. Right. Okay. I've done. I've done the sky bit. <laughs> Should I get the Lego video sets? It's up to you, Gino. Like, um, I think it's very much that whole thing of figuring out what Lego you're going to enjoy and what you're going to get, you know, the most enjoyment out of. Um, again, I think that the video sets, just from building them, obviously I haven't even been streaming for an hour yet and I've built two beatboxes and three figs. And most of a third uh, third beatbox as well as chatting to all of you lovely people. And um, so I don't think that the video sets take up that much space when it comes to actual, like, building or design or those sorts of things. I do think that potentially if you can figure out how to use the interactive sort of thing, then that's probably going to extend the playability a bit. Um but again, I think that we like, I think that some of us just sort of look for different things in Lego sets as well. So it's really hard to sort of say what what different people would get out of a set. Um, I know that like, for example, 
Uh, Ted, who's in the chat at the moment, is that he does like a mockumentary stream, which is really good fun, um, which is all about taking an existing Lego set or just modifying or, or creating your own design. Again, you know, Jezza and Ro Transformation, who's also in the chat, really loves creating unique designs as well. So if if you like taking apart official Lego sets and, and doing something unique with them, this is these are probably not the sets for you. <laughs> uh, but if you like having, you know, Lego on display uh, in your room or around your home or whatever, and when you look at it, it makes you smile or it makes you laugh and, you know, you sort of enjoy it and all of those sorts of things, then I think that these are, like, really cute and cool sets. Um, but, yeah, it's entirely up to you as to whether or not you want to get these or, or do something else with them. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, Pucky. Oh, I can see Pucky. He's sleeping on the sofa. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, it will. Um, you'll probably hear Pucky a lot during the stream. He's always mooching about and checking in on me and all of that type of thing. So, yeah, I think it just kind of depends on on what what sort of sets inspire you and for different reasons. And again, I think it can be really tricky when um, different people have different budgets that they can spend on Lego as well. So that's the other thing that can be um, challenging if you feel like you should be getting sets because other people have them or whatever, and that's not always always the case. Um, and I think that that's also, you know, part of the nice thing about YouTube too is that we do get to enjoy sets that we don't necessarily get to build ourselves. Um, but, whoops, but, you know, we can sort of watch others <laughs> build them and, and enjoy them. And then, yeah, the mini figs are a massive sell on video, at least until the summer. Oh, my gosh, I know there's going to be so many exciting sets coming out. Um, <laughs> I haven't really been take, taking that into account <laughs> at all. Is that meant to go like that? I think so. Okay. We'll try that and we'll see. I still don't even really know what this image is. Is it the llama? Is it meant to be a llama? I don't know. It's very confusing for me. Oh, and these one by ones are all both crooked. I don't like it when they go a bit weird. <laughs> No need to apologise, Gino. It's lovely that you're chatting away. I'm sure, I don't think that anyone minds. <laughs> and it's nice that you're so enthusiastic as well. It's awesome. It's so nice um, when you get to have a really fun first stream too. Okay. I'll show this to you guys and you can let me know what you think this is. Because I'm not entirely sure. Is it? A tree, a sunset, a boat. I think it might be a palm tree. Now that I'm seeing it on camera, I think it's a palm tree, which kind of makes sense since the llama is very, like, summertime, vibrant <laughs> looking thing. <laughs> so there's the <laughs> llama skull. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Joe's saying the same thing. Where it's a really lovely stream. Everyone's really relaxed, Gino, so there's no need to worry about that type of stuff. A flower, a house. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. And that's the other side of the little llama beatbox. So let's pop llama down here. Right, and now we're moving on to the robot. <laughs> no, the pirate. <laughs> Punk pirate <laughs> and no clue. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yay the robot. No, I wouldn't do that to Jack and, and Joe. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, and I've still got to do the beat bits as well. Whoops. I think I do have quite a few double ups in this one though. I might just put these ones to one side. <gasps> But we do have an awesome 
maraca beat bit as well which you guys won't be able to see because my camera is terrible tonight and so is my lighting but it does give me uh, room to improve doesn't it <laughs> so we'll just go with that oh we've got lots of double ups this time oh and another like tropical looking one which is kind of cool i might actually move all those extra parts over to that side so it's a bit obvious that those are the extra bits right this one that one and this is ooh, a lot more teal black and a bit of coral going on here another brick separator another box <laughs> The blind boxes have unique tiles. Yes, it does appear that each of the figs in the blind boxes does have unique tiles, which I haven't seen in any of these ones yet. Uh, so I haven't seen the seagull playing the ukulele and anything else yet. But I've still got two more beat boxes to open up and uh, nine, nine more of the blind bags. <laughs> I think I started that though. <laughs> that was probably my fault for being cheeky. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> right, let's get let's get these open up. Oh, and the other thing that I also ended up getting for my like new setup thing is I also got a new microphone as well, but I can't have <laughs> how non-technical I am. Brett, if you're still in the chat, you're probably rolling your eyes and just like, I'm sick and tired of hearing that, Ruth. <laughs> Brett's offered me help so many times and I haven't even got organised enough to accept help. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I have got a new microphone, but I can't have the microphone and the webcam plugged in at the same time yet. So I do actually have to find a way. Um, I think I just need to buy an adapter or whatever they're called. Some sort of gizmo in order to be able to have the webcam and the microphone in at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Gino, don't worry about spelling. It's it. You're not at school. It's not a test. We don't give any points out for good or bad spelling. If I can make sense of what you're typing, then that's fine. <laughs> Especially because when... when I'm typing in a stream or whatever I can't always um sometimes you hit the wrong button at the wrong time or you're typing really quickly or whatever so we all sort of have a few uh, spelling mishaps when we're streaming so don't ever worry about that <laughs> I don't I don't care <laughs> it's fine it's more than fine it's it's cool it's good I think do each of these I think that each of the beat boxes also, do they have unique tiles? Because it looks like in the instructions on here, there's a whole part, there's a whole pile of them. And then we get two that are actually displayed next to the character. So I do think that we have unique tiles in each of these as well. And then we get a whole heap of extra ones. I don't know. Oh my gosh. And then the punk pirate has an anchor guitar that's so awesome i love that <laughs> rolling yeah you'll be rolling your eyes because once again i'll be saying i don't know how technology works and i've got to get some sort of a gadget <laughs> to make things happen <laughs> so yeah poor brett <laughs> right oh my gosh i can't how do you work how, i don't understand how how do minifigures work Okay, right. I think I'm just going to go, the anchor is going to go a bit more upright. Is it a double base? <laughs> what it's meant to be? Can you hold on to this properly? Uh, okay, right. No, you, it's just going to sit next to him. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll pop the anchor. I don't know where we'll pop the anchor. We'll pop the anchor. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh. And now his peg leg's not going to stand him up properly. Right. We'll just pop the anchor in behind him like that. Don't don't tell it. Don't say anything, anyone. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> 
used to those non-moving friends' hands. Yep. <laughs> they make sense to me. <laughs> Mini figures are a new new thing to my little world. <laughs> Newish. <laughs> Relatively new. And then uh, is oh Elle's here. Yay! <laughs> Hey Al, so happy that you're here. I've got my new setup going on this week as well, finally. After weeks and weeks of promising a new setup, it's finally happened. <laughs> and then text saying, is it near at like 124 to collect with more coming? I don't know. I haven't looked into how many tiles there's there's beat bits there's to collect. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> or maybe we won't see. Maybe we'll just be happy with the ones that I've got. <laughs> oh, cool. And then everyone's saying hello to you. Elle. Gino saying happy for Mother's Day. Yes. I know. It should be so nice. But even though I did get very confused last week and thought that it was Mother's Day, so I did wish my mum happy Mother's Day last week. And then I was like, is it Mother's Day? And she was like, I don't know, sometime soon. Right, there's... There's that little bit. So I've just got to do the mosaic thing on the back. Whoops, running out of room. I might have to reshuffle the whole. And I think, I think that this picture is meant to be. Oh my gosh, Elle. That's so exciting. I also bought sausage rolls. There's a picture on the Discord. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Oh dear. Yes, that's a very big part of our chat is, is the mutual love of various pastries. <laughs> oh, I think I've ended up with three of the same tiles by the looks of things. Oops, I will be... Yeah. I might just move some of those beat bits out the way. Right. That's That's fantastic. There is a huge love of pastries, mutual love of pastries here. <laughs> and um, we're going to have to find other... Oh, Gollum's here as well. <laughs> Hello. It's so nice that you've been able to join us tonight. I'm just building up the various video sets so that you and Elle know where we're up to. I've already built the... Mermaid, which she had to be the first, the first uh, beat box out of the ranks. Then I built up the beautiful unicorn, who also looks absolutely spectacular. I then built up three of our little figs. So the ice cream, whoops, the shark and the ninja, which is super fantastic. Oh, Bricky Ties here too. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome. And then I've also built up the lovely little llama who's super little, very cute in here. And then just, <laughs> just doing the pirate at the moment as well. So, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Have the mermaid standing in front of me while I'm sorting Lego. She is absolutely gorgeous. A very, very fantastic fig. Um, I <laughs> ended up getting everything in wave one. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> so, yeah, I got everything in wave one. Um, luckily, the beat boxes were uh, reduced in price. I wasn't going to pay $22 for them, and I didn't. And then I got all 12 of the characters from an eBay seller. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> Talk say Got them all. Yes. I... Uh, I don't, I don't recommend people to take any sort of financial advice from me ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I thought it would be fun to, to put them all together on, um, on stream, which is really cool. Wish <laughs> there was a, oh, a mint pie box, a mice pie box. Yeah, I'm hoping. I haven't gone through and checked them, but the seller that I got them from, I messaged I, I messaged them before I purchased and I said, I don't mind if the boxes have been opened. I just want to make sure that there's um, I get all of the characters. And the seller was like, yep, I've, 
open them, checked the character, um, and made sure that they're all unique, and um, and then just taped the box back up again. And um, on the box, they've even sort of put a little sticker up on the top with like a little number, and there was one to twelve in that. So, which is super fantastic because I just find that so much easier. <laughs> And, um, yeah, and then the e that particular eBay seller also had free shipping. Normally it would probably be about $10 to $15 worth of shipping. Um, so I don't actually think that that particular seller makes a huge amount of money on, on the cost of those. I think that it was more just like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping that that particular seller will also have the Looney Tune figs as well because I'll definitely get the Looney Tune figs from them too. Um, I did check on eBay the other day to see whether or not that uh, seller had the Looney Tune figs, but not yet. So I'll probably just go back and, and see. <laughs> and then, oh, my gosh. Yes, a bacon buddy. Yes, please. That sounds amazing. If anyone in the chat is going to be making <laughs> a bacon a bacon buddy or a bacon roll, I'll have one. <laughs> and then topped off with HP brown sauce. Yum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just pay no, don't come to me for financial wisdom. <laughs> and just about whenever anyone says, do you think that I should get this set? My response is usually, yeah, of course, why not? <laughs> It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I've, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you see the cogs turn in my head about, you know, what that says about my personality? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just going to let that one go. And then Kai is saying, I refuse to get any more Vigo feeds in them unless they are silly low pennies. Yes. Oh, I wish there was a mince pie box. Oh, my gosh, yes, mince pies, yum. Any any sort of carbohydrate pastry-related treat, Gino? Yes. Considering they are now in cardboard boxes, um, buying already opened once makes sense. That's what I thought. I I don't know whether or not you've seen Gollum, but uh, Elle has done a fantastic, very short video on uh, her thoughts of the <laughs> the cardboard boxes. And uh, just about all of us have said yes. Oh, no, I think we talked about that before, haven't we? Uh, oh, the Looney Tunes CMFs. So the little figures that come in just the bags do you know are called collectible minifigs or cmf so collectible c minifig mf and then looney tunes is like a cartoon uh series so uh, looney tunes has like porky pig and sylvester the cat um and who else is looney tunes the tazzy devil um and a, a, a whole heap of uh, bugs bunny is a looney tunes character so yeah, they are getting <laughs> they're getting those. Oh Brett! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Everyone's talking about their bacon buddies for breakfast. Oh my gosh. Yum, yum, yum. Uh oh, bacon buddy, bacon roll, bacon sandwich. Uh yeah, like a, a sandwich or a bread roll or whatever is called a butty in uh the UK. I don't know why. You'll have to wait for the English to tell you why. <laughs> and oh my gosh Brett good luck oh my gosh smell vision oh bacon smell vision yes we'll rock our worlds now I'm fairly certain that's an anchor <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to jump to any conclusions but I think that that might be an anchor and there's the little fig in there as well Oh my gosh, am I going to be busting some moves with the figs on the app? Maybe. I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. I um Yeah, I hadn't I hadn't thought about that. I, I think I will try out the app. Who was who was asking? <laughs> 
I did see someone ask, oh, am I going to try out the app for them? Yeah, I think I will give it a go, but I'm not great with technology, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so, um, and now I've got two lots of tiles to look at, and I do have double ups, but I, um, oh, no, hang on, I do have a panda double up. Oops, I can put the panda double up underneath a panda, but a lot of these other double ups, I'll just have to let them let them be rogue. Oh, and I might just move this one because I've got loads of these little mouse double ups which I don't mind because this little singing mouse does look super cute. Right, so there's the panda. The panda is there. Oh, and I've got another oh, I've got another bagpipe dude. So I can pop the bagpipe dude here. And then I do have two of these soap people. Oops. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called, but a couple of these soap people. Uh, and then... What else? I did see some of these. So they're double ups as well. Oh, I've got two of those. Have I already got one of those? No. So let's stick those next to each other. Oh, I've got two of these. Have I already got these? No. So yeah, I am starting to get a few more double ups. Oh, and I've got another soap person. Whoops, I'll have to go over there. And then I will have to go through and figure out which ones were actually the, the unique ones as well because I have sort of gotten a bit muddled as to what was happening with all of that. No one's surprised at all that I have once again gotten muddled. Oh and I've got another ballerina too. So I've got three ballerinas now. Uh, whoops. Skeleton. I think they're the both pirate ones. Let's put those there. They're the llama ones. Right, umbrella, oops, a running dude, a scared face, and a Marilyn Monroe sort of looking person. Oh, another umbrella lady. Right, let's have a, I'll just go back through. <laughs> sure it's an old, no. <laughs> Been very confused about these images. Brigitte, we think we think that this is an ice cream. I'm fairly certain that's an ice cream. There's been great debate as to whether or not this is a purple unicorn with a green mane and a and a white horn, or whether or not it's just a purple skull. It could be a purple unicorn skull. This could be a palm tree, a flower, a a, a boat. A llama face we're, we're not sure about that <laughs> and and this one i'm quietly confident that that's an anchor <laughs> then again I don't, I don't know right i will open up let's do some more beatboxes next no what are these called blind bags <laughs> i don't know let's do some more of those three more four more three more let's do three more of those Right, and I will just double check for the unicorn and the mermaid as to which ones are the unique tiles. Oh, okay. So this one, which is on the edge, which is cool, which is one of the ones that I thought was really pretty, and then that other one, which is also super pretty, belong to the unicorn. Right, so I'm going to just put those there. Uh, the mouse can go back in here. The... <laughs> <laughs> one, one scare. Oh, bandmates. Yes, thank you, Elle. Oh, my gosh. I just end up with such bad uh, streaming brain. I just, it's awful. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Right, now, let's see who, which ones were the mermaids ones. Um, where are you, mermaid? Right, oh, okay. Uh, ice cream? Oh, yeah, cool. I've got that one on the edge, and then that, this one. Cool. Ah! <laughs> that went down there. Okay, that's a problem for future Ruth. Um, yeah, so that's all the bits that I've gotten so far with the unique tiles taken out. Oh, yes, 
thanks tech for stopping by i really appreciate you popping into the chat it's always lovely to have you here right let's open up some of these <laughs> uh, oh hang on i can get that tile oh this chair is really squeaky as well so that might need to change at some point <laughs> or another i don't know Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was literally saying to Gino earlier that the spelling is not the strong point uh, in my streams. <laughs> so I'm not surprised that there's a spelling mistake in my title. I've probably spelled it wrong in all of them. I'll have to go back and have a look. <laughs> and, oh, we've got the leopard. Yay. Right, now, oh. Hang on, I'll just have to have a look and see which is the unique leopard tile. And, oh, the yellow one, which looks kind of, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> to no one's surprise at all. Is it, looks like a person dancing? Tropical, tropical again. I think that Leopard is definitely a DJ though, because the oh my gosh, I forgot to put the leopard tail on. I can't remember these things with tails. So there is a little leopard dude with the record. It is actually quite nice because we do have a few like unique accessories and that type of stuff going on with the video characters, which is kind of cool. And then I don't think that I've gotten either of these tiles before either. Have I? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, hang on. I do have the saxophone player, but I haven't got the other one. So that's kind of cool. Right. I will need another plate to put all the extra tiles on now. <laughs> so I do have a basic green plate over here. Oh, no, hang on. It's got stuff on it. It's pull that up and it's very dusty as well <laughs> right but that's okay once the tiles go on we won't see the dust oh do oh do i now get do you now uh get to wear the rainbow and unicorn dots bracelets um do i have i don't know i do actually <laughs> It sounds really silly, Gino, because I do actually really love the Dots bracelets and I really enjoy creating with them. But because I don't actually really wear that much as in the way of jewellery or, or watches or anything, is that I just don't ever remember to put any of this stuff on. So it's, t it's really terrible, I know. Uh, I think this is the cow... Cowboy, cow person, the rodeo singer, country singer. Good place. Right, oh, and extra bits. Right, and um, yeah, I haven't, I do have all like the most recent like wave of dots bracelets, but I haven't opened up any of those packs. I did open up all the bag tags, so that's um, one of my videos. So I've got all of them happening, but um, yeah, I haven't done the bracelets yet. Oh, got oh, Elle's gotten the uh, bracelets online. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Tasman Bricks is heading off to bed. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's it's really cool. Yes, enjoy the rest of your weekend as well, my friend. And I will uh, pop onto Instagram and check check the DMs as well and and uh, let me know. Reply to that. Answer that. <laughs> Chat with you about that. Right, an extra microphone, and then a couple of the extra tiles. And I think that there is one new one but I also have got another one of the ladies with the umbrellas, which I've already gotten. So, yes. So there's the little country western singer in really bad lighting. <laughs> oh, and Elle's heating up more of the sausage rolls. 
Yes, <laughs> that's what we like to hear. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic plan. Right, let's do another one of these. And then we've got uh, another couple of beat boxes to go. And then we've still got some more. Oh, my gosh, it's the genie girl. Yes, yes, we love her. She looks gorgeous. I think this is also one of the ones that Amy said that she's got. So it's really cool to get one of the genie tail pieces as well. I'm pretty sure that um, Brickish customised, not Brickish, Brick Emotion, Claire from Brick Emotion customised some of the mermaid tails that we got with the mini dolls to make them look like genie tails too. Oh, Gino's got to go to bed. Yes, take care, Mike. It's so nice to have you in the stream too. So I hope you had fun. <laughs> And we'll uh, hopefully we'll see you again at some stage as well. All right. Right, Jeannie Girl. Oh, and she has a tambourine. That's really cute. I really like that part. That looks amazing. Right, let's, oops. Oh, I haven't built this bit. I've uh, <laughs> just gone backwards with everything. Oh, my gosh. Right, and then she has this piece. It goes that way. Again, the printing on these figs is absolutely, like, it's pretty spectacular. I am really enjoying it. And I've got another sleeping person. Oh, and I've got a cheerleading-looking tile as well. So that's kind of cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was literally, Claire, I've been singing your praises all stream. <laughs> As always. So I um yeah, no, it's been fantastic. I've gotten the mermaid, the ice cream mermaid. So we've already just made her. She was the first one that I had to make, of course, because that hair piece is stunning. We've got the unicorn here as well, which is super cool. The, we then built up the llama, which was really cute. Love that. The pirate character, the punk pirate, which has some fantastic uh, printing. All of these has really cool printing on them. And then out of the blind bags, I got the ice cream dude first. We then opened up the little shark dude as well as the ninja, who I think has probably got um, the easiest printing is probably on the ninja figure in order to translate across to like a city um but it's kind of plain compared to the rest we've got the leopard we've got the country and western singer and i just opened up the lovely genie girl as well so <laughs> that's super cool <laughs> yes the the, the minifigs have saved video, I think. Good job. They're spot on. Yeah, I agree, Bricky Ty, definitely. Um, it's interesting to see, like, with the second wave and all of that type of stuff that um, the they're actually we're actually getting builds now. And when I watched that video, that was actually, I think I saw the second wave thing being discussed uh, by Jang. And he said that he was really surprised that they didn't include, like, at least the Ghetto Blaster with Wave 1. And I kind of agree with him because I think that a lot of people just assumed that this whole thing was going to be, you know, um, just minifigs and, and little beatboxes and stuff. So it's nice to see that we're actually, like, getting sets as well. <laughs> yes, I ended up getting them all. <laughs> because I have a problem with collecting everything all of the time. <laughs> I think it's just a Lego fan thing. <laughs> and then it's so nice, Claire, to see that Gino is saying hello to you and he uh, loves your videos, which, of course, a lot of us do. We're huge fans and Amy is sending you hearts as well. So, yeah, thanks so much for stopping by. It's always nice when you pop into our chat. <laughs> Ricky Tart. Yeah, <laughs> like Pokemon, got to get them all. Exactly. <laughs> it is. It is, especially for some of us. Right, now, I um, am on to, like, the, oh, my gosh. This one is, what's the official name of this one? The Alien, the Alien DJ Beatbox. So the last 
the last beatbox that we'll be doing is the hip hop robot, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so yes, and um, right. So fig up next. So we'll just put the little robot dude together. So everyone's saying hello to Claire in the chat, which is really nice. And then this is one of the unique tiles. So I'll put that one to one side while I see it. And then the one of these yellow ones, that one. Cool. Right. Now we need the minifig head. Oh, which is kind of cool. This is all like one piece. So I I don't know why. I just assumed that it was going to be like a head with a helmet, but that's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and Claire's saying hello to everyone as well, which is really cool. So there's the little alien dude in there. We've got the alien um, tiles separated out. So let's see if we can put this beatbox thing together. <laughs> yeah, I think um, it's really... I I completely agree, Ty. I think I think that that's one of the things that actually grew, drew me to the tiles as well. Um, when I was doing my uh, Harley Quinn cafe mock, I really liked having some of the DC superhero girls tiles in there because it was really cool um, to to see them as like posters and that type of stuff as well. And that's definitely what I can see with these, even things like books and magazines, uh, posters. Um, I think would all be sort of really cool um, and, and a definitely a way to sort of uh, use them elsewhere <laughs> outside of outside of these little uh, boxes and, and everything as well. But, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting theme. I think it's nice when we, um, like for me, I also think that it's nice when we can sort of create, uh, support something a bit more creative and I think that for me, I was just sort of like going, I don't, I wasn't sure about video. I'm, <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's so nice. Um, and yeah, I just sort of think that it's, it's cool to tr try something different and it's cool to like support something like a little bit creative and different as well. So, um, yeah. Oh, I'm liking these like little headphones. I think that this is, this is probably my favourite headphone uh, combination so far, which I wasn't really expecting for the little alien uh, beatbox. Obviously, mermaids and unicorns <laughs> are much more uh, along my sort of vibe down my lane. Right, let's pop. Oh, hang on, the record's sticking out too much. Uh, how do you work mini figure hands? <laughs> There we go. Kind of cool. Oh, and the plastic tub pieces make great hot tubs. That's a really good suggestion as well, Ty. I wish I could have a hot tub. <laughs> and Elle's, Elle's back with sausage rolls. <laughs> Yay. We love that. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Claire's stopped in as well, which is really nice. And Claire's saying, listening to the stream while editing some photos, this makes uh, her feel less alone, which is always nice. I think it's. I think that that's one of my favourite things about uh, the Lego community is checking in on everyone's videos and listening to Lego while we're doing uh, building and all of that type of stuff as well. Oh, cool. And Kaz is here as well. Hi, Kaz. It's lovely that you've stopped by. I've finally sorted out my little new setup as well. So I think I do have to sort of try and figure out the lighting a bit better. Um, and then I do need to get a couple of little adapter things so that I've got a better microphone here as well. But uh, bit by bit, <laughs> little by little, it's all slow going for now. Right. Our next little mosaic design is, is coming up as well. <laughs> oh my gosh it's 1am Gina you need to, need to sleep <laughs> it's it's nice to have you in the chat though <laughs> but yeah 
It looks and sounds good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that it does. Sometimes I think that the computer screen does do weird things with with how things look until we actually, you know, um, see it on the TV or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Once again, if Brett's still listening, he's going to roll his eyes at me. And I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how technology works that much. What time is it for me? It is 9.40 p.m., so 9.40 in the evening for me. So, yeah. And then I think, uh, yeah, I think, that, I think that the images for all the uh, Wave 2 stuff is actually up on the Lego site now. Oh, yeah. Kaz is saying, Kaz is saying just that. It's already on the Lego website. Yeah, it came up on our website as well. So it might have gone up at about the similar time. And my chair's gotten really squeaky. <laughs> so, yeah, which is kind of cool. Like there's a few extra, um, there's a few extra beat boxes, which is really cool. But then a lot of them are actual sets which should be really exciting to see what they're like. So I think that the most uh, most expensive one is um, like a brick-built ghetto blaster, like a brick-built uh, <laughs> ghetto blaster. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's going to know what that is or if I'm just giving away my age there, but uh, that's, that's what it is. Oh, fantastic. Oh, excellent. So uh, Kaz is in the middle of doing her article for New Elementary for Wave 2. Fantastic. There's, I must admit that there are some really nice um, little things going on in, in these sets. Uh, I don't think, I'm not a huge, I don't pay that much attention to new parts, clearly. Um, but I must admit that, um, what was I going to say? Um, but I do really enjoy a lot of the prints, like even outside of the beat bits, I do think that, you know, some of the records and like the tambourine and all of those sorts of things are really cool. And then obviously some of the new headpieces, that mermaid hairpiece, oh my God, is just a hairpiece that is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, Bacon Buddy must come first. Everyone's talking about Bacon Buddies today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. I think that almost all my Brits that are watching um, have talked about the fact that they want Bacon Buddies or have had Bacon Buddies today, which is hilarious. And Tayshawn is here. Hey, Tayshawn. I, um, I did see your video today about your Ninjago-inspired uh, ninja dojo, which looked amazing. You're such a talented builder, Tayshawn. It was just absolutely fantastic seeing that. So well done on another uh, unique build. It was really cool. Oh, uh, oh okay, right. <laughs> just had to check that. And then Gino saying, going to be tired tomorrow, uh, but it's worth it. <laughs> Can't say too much, but I enjoyed building them. Spent all day putting them together yesterday. Oh, fantastic. Yay. Yes. I um, I must admit, I've been enjoying putting these ones together so far as well. Um, obviously, with all the beat boxes, probably the most, like, um, unique part is uh, the mosaics <laughs> let's see if we think that we can do this one i'm pretty sure that that's a ufo <laughs> oh, I don't know. right i'm running out of room to put these let's move that over there right and we have to have a look and see what ones which are the unique tiles for this one okay right so we've got the oh i've got another one of the singing mouses Fantastic. Right. Okay, another singing mouse. Now, it's a yellow one, not that one, so it must be this. Oh, oh did I already put them aside? Oh, I did. <laughs> la, la, la. I've got streaming brain, everyone. Right. 
another rainbow one i think that that's a new one i've got another tomato one i don't know whether or not i put the tomato one around the right way the sleeping girl i've gotten a few times already have i had one of these mummy ones no so the mummy one is a new one oh, another balloon which i've had before oh this one's quite pretty with the flowers on it that looks very um flower power sort of hippie type <laughs> oh i've lost the post where am i up to and then blockheads kaz is saying agree the mini fig printing is really nice yep it's fantastic l saying just wish they were mini dolls me too i've already said that you and i are on the same page with that once again oh thanks Tayshaun. yes i rearranged a few things so that I could actually have a proper streaming space so that now I don't need to like take everything off my dining table and put everything back onto my dining table whenever I want to stream so hopefully it's going to make life a little bit easier to stream which is really cool oh I didn't even realize that the comments were turned off but I did watch it on my tv and I can't figure out how to comment on videos on my tv and then very nearly had bacon buddies for lunch, but now just realized I needed some to eat. I needed to eat some chicken from the fridge first. Oh no. <laughs> oh, bacon buddy is like a bacon roll, bacon sandwich. It's a very UK thing, <laughs> but delicious. Gotta go to bed. Yes, take care, Gino. It's lovely to have you in the chat. Um, I actually think that the two best things claire are probably the printing on the minifix the mosaics on the back and then some of the beat bits <laughs> is that everything i don't know was that a very critical review no <laughs> that offered no insight into anything <laughs> yeah buddy slang for sandwich in the uk yeah whenever i had bacon buddies in the UK it was more like with a bread roll but not a very big bread roll it was more like a little thin one but that just might have been what I had available or what my British friends had available to me and and so that was that and Jezza is back <laughs> and to pick my wife up from work I hope that you got some really nice baked goods Jezza to no one's surprise we have been talking about baked goods again Elle from the US has got found random sausage rolls and is enjoying them which is fantastic and we've discussed a lot a lot of uh, bacon buddies as well <laughs> which is hilarious and everyone's just saying bacon buddies <laughs> i'd eat it too you have a check mark bacon buddies it seems <laughs> It's everyone saying yum oh sloth is here hello sloth it's lovely to have you here as well i hope that you have been enjoying a good day and <laughs> oh <laughs> you don't like the big uh, i don't know what i do with them I think Ty had the best option, which is to turn them into hot tubs, which I really like that idea. But aside from that, I think that the only thing that they'd be used for is, is this. But again, I don't think that they're that much different to like our little cubes either. Um, but the cubes are a little bit like not as deep. So I think that that sort of, I don't know, they don't take up as much room. Um, but I'm, I don't know. There's, there's some things that I find a lot easier to, um, I don't know which one is the unique tile. I'm assuming it is that. Um, oh, Brick Sloth, such a creative person. Yes. Uh, Sloth is saying, I plan to turn my video box into an elevator. Just needs a building big enough to support it. That's a very creative solution. Oh, yes. The little fox. The little fox dude has the hippie sunglasses so these are my two extra tiles which i'll put oh i do have an extra one of the electrocuted thing <laughs> oh i can see some mini apartments 
made out of these trans clear boxes and that's another really good idea see everyone's so much more creative than that oh take care amy it was lovely to have you here but sh it's a secret <laughs> Ricky Ty saying, useful for farts holders. Yes, I can see that as well. Oh, actually, and Kaz is saying that she thinks that they're more versatile than the Friends cubes. Possibly. I just, <laughs> just like to display things. <laughs> I actually don't mind this little fox dude. The fox hip hop little character I think is quite cute right let's pop that there and then oh my gosh I've got my scissors oh aquariums yep that's another good idea <laughs> see everyone's coming mind you I do have streaming brain so I, I think hopefully you guys can understand that <laughs> I always end up oh there we go. Jez is coming in with underwater uh, or space base. See, you guys are just awesome. So much. Oh, and then uh, I wish the sides were properly transparent rather than textured. Yes. And then we're getting the the evil genie with Bellatrix's hairpiece. <laughs> That's up next. They could be used for a tanning booth. <laughs> it's creative. It's a creative option. And we've got another one of those guys getting electrocuted with the headphones. Uh, that's a double up. And and uh, the little tambourine drum thing is also a double up. Right. Now, how do I put this little genie girl together? This way, no, that way. <laughs> He's just laughing. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Her face. This is actually, I actually quite like this fig. She's actually kind of cool. A bit sort of evil looking, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, am I putting a hairpiece on correctly? Oh, yes, there we go. Uh, oh, it's um, okay. It's a little bit wonky. <laughs> Shop windows <laughs> displaying our favorite baked goods. <laughs> that would be a winning combination for this stream. Oh, yes, that's fine, Karis. Just happy to have you here, sort of, you know. Uh, listening in the background, we were saying the same thing to Claire earlier as well, which was really cool. It's, it's always nice when people are like either building or doing something or whatever behind the scenes, doing whatever they need to do. I do quite often say that for Mama's Bricks that I enjoy having her streams on while I'm like cleaning and, and faffing around in my in my house, particularly because they're in Dutch. <laughs> So I don't always understand what's going on. But I'm like going, I love Mama's, Mama's Bricks. So I've got to have her um, playing in the background. <laughs> it's also troll car. Yes, exactly. We're now moving away from actual Lego options into non-Lego uses. And I've got the little alien guitarist, which is really cute as well. Oh, and I've got two new tiles with this one as well. So I've got a little flying cow and then some sort of, oh, no, the electronic-like figure thing I've had in the past. So that's a double up as well. What I might end up doing, I don't, don't, <laughs> don't believe me because you know how random I am when it comes to things. I might actually go through and sort out all my tiles that I got from all of these openings and then just post uh, uh, like a couple of photos on Instagram or something so you can actually have a look and see what double ups I got and what in unique tiles I, I have as well. And there's the little alien dude, super cute. So I do have three more figs to open but let's do the last beatbox first and then... <laughs> Oh, my gosh, Ricky Tyre, yes. None of us are jealous about that. 
that no that doesn't sound like a lot of fun at all I think it's one of those things where you just sort of go oh yeah this shouldn't be too challenging and then you just go oh no <laughs> this is awful <laughs> right let's just move some of these around right okie dokie and um, I think one of the challenges that I have with a lot of like the support walls and that type of stuff is because I'm not great at carpentry either. So none of it sort of ever works out as, as well as what I hope. So, yeah, I, I, I never quite know what to do with, um, with support walls and that sort of thing. But I think it's, like, really important to have that so that it actually looks finished. One of the things I always wondered about, like, with my elf shelves and that type of stuff is whether or not I should actually put, like, a background uh, behind them. And with people that have, like, seen them in the real world here, is that most of them have said not to because they think that then the Lego wouldn't stand out as much, um, which is probably true. That's probably a very, very, like, valid um, call. But part of me also just sort of thinks, oh, hang on, I'm going to need to look at the instructions for this. I think that this beatbox alien robot requires uh, more skills than, <laughs> than what I can functionally put together uh -oh. Uh -oh. right uh now oh my gosh yes legs legs i have top with head top face this little doodle piece that we get in a lot of the avengers stuff and then two of these thank you cokies Oh, okay, right. Oh, and then I need more stuff. Okay, face. Oh, the little robot actually has quite a cute little face. The robot has a really cute little expression. <laughs> it's like building the Colosseum, very repetitive, yeah. Oh, dear, yes, that's that's what it's like. Yeah, the only the only extra thing that I have been wanting to do for a little while, and I've actually purchased, <laughs> are fairy lights because I do actually want to put fairy lights through the trees. And I think that with these little ones, um, they are mini copper wire lights, and there's three sets in here with ten LEDs each. And I think that you can just like click them um, in order to switch them on. So I think that it would be really easy to then potentially hide the little white switch under a turtle or behind a boat or something like that so that then you can just sort of switch those on. I think that that would look really pretty. So that's, <laughs> that's the only change. And then Elle is working on details for Louis's bedroom. Ooh, very exciting. Is that part of the Popstar Megabus update or is that a separate build there Elle? I know that I am a little bit behind on your videos but that's because you keep you keep going faster than me <laughs> and I've been trying not to watch videos that have um, spoilers in them so I like to be able to build the set um, if I know that I'm going to get that particular set without watching a video and then um, and then go back and watch the videos so I do have a bit to catch up on with you with your videos l but i will get there i'm sure of it but you keep yes you keep jumping ahead of me <laughs> and then uh... <gasps> oh my gosh in 2022, Disney releases a Zootopia series on Disney+, Plus, which is amazing. I completely agree with that, Ratna. And I can't wait for Lego to potentially make Zootopia sets. I know, me too. I would love Zootopia sets. And 
seeing that we've got foxes and leopards and sharks and all sorts of characters here and we've just had like Winnie the Pooh and all of these characters here surely they can do um Zootopia as well I've got the Zootopia film just up there <laughs> out of sight oh the Megabus yes <laughs> oh but I enjoy your videos Elle so that's why I always like to check them out <laughs> they're so much fun so I will get there. I It depends. It depends on what's going on as to whose videos I, I get to. I've also um, I managed to catch up on a lot of Sloth's videos as well, but um, I think that I have missed the more, more recent ones as well. I might be one or two behind on Sloth's as well. But that's okay. Like you said, is that we just sort of watch what we can when we can. Oh, yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Oh, thanks. Yes, Jazza. Cool. Yeah, I think so as well. I think that it would then mean that it wouldn't be so dark under the shelf as well because the window is actually here. So the shelves don't get like direct light on them. So quite often when I have been trying to take footage of the shelves when they're in the bookcase... <laughs> rather than taking the shelf out and putting it on my dining table, which I generally do, and for building as well. And fortunately, more recently, I have ended up with a spare shelf. So the Goblin Village display that will be ending up going in here um, will eventually, <laughs> is actually on a spare shelf on my dining table at the moment <laughs> because I'm in here doing this. <laughs> So I don't I don't know whether or not it's made it any easier. Um, oh, um, right. So yes, cool. <laughs> yes, and make it magical and sparkly. Yes, I think so. I think so as well. That was part of my uh, plan is to make it look a bit more sparkly and magical. Because it is, it is sort of supposed to be um, magical and sparkly, isn't it? <laughs> Which is perfectly okay, Brigitte. <laughs> we get, we have all sorts of sides to us. Which is fantastic. Right, I thought that these pieces were going to be, in, oh no, this is going on the other side. Right, so that's the little container thing. Um, oh, oh, that sounded very wookie. That was a, quite a wookie noise, wasn't it? Oh, no, brickish. Oh, but that's okay. <laughs> Just, it happens to the best of us, and none of us have very good control over our internet at all. Right, okay, let's see if I can find... Now, where's the... Where's the other bit where I need to get tiles? Right, a black tile and a yellow tile. There's loads of yellow tiles in here. Oh, that's one of the black tiles. So that's one of the unique ones. And it must be this one. Yes. So they're the two unique ones. Right, where's the mosaic? <laughs> Just flip this around and around. And I think, I think I can also tell what this mosaic is meant to be as well. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> just had a look at the wave two picks only one i'm not keen on is the pirate ship set the rest look pretty decent yeah yeah that's what i thought as well again i was a bit surprised that we didn't get more of that in wave one i think that people would have had a bit of a different perception of video as a theme if we'd gotten more of those sorts of um sets in wave one but you know And then we've got Ty saying, Joe, show it who's boss. <laughs> How could anyone show their internet who's boss? <laughs> and then Jez is also saying, sorry to hear, Joe. It, it's usually me complaining about that on Saturdays. Yes, exactly. It's usually, it, it hits us all. Oops, that was a very croaky sound as well. Hmm. So... Let's see what else I have to put together, right, these bits. I think that this is actually quite a cool-looking mosaic as well. I'm, um, I'm pleasantly surprised because the two 
characters in beatboxes that I was probably more reluctant about was probably the pirate. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Tech. I know that Tech's not here anymore. And the hip hop robot. But I actually have enjoyed both of those builds. I think that the anchor mo mosaic on the back of the pirate was, <laughs> aside from the ice cream, has probably been one of the best mosaics, most obvious mosaics, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Show a who's boss by taking the power leap. Oh, wait, no, that won't work. <laughs> oh, dear, exactly. Oh, my gosh. It is definitely one of those things where I sort of think to myself, it's so strange that um, we're now uh, so reliant on our internet connections, isn't it? Back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, it just wasn't something that I ever had to sort of grow up with at all. And it's just sort of so interesting to see how our sort of lives have changed. And I think it's also been like really quite funny how, um, you know, even like our work lives have changed as well. So I think that one of the things that I have enjoyed is the greater freedom that a lot of uh, places of employment have offered people around working from home. So that's also been like quite a nice little blessing. Oh, and Claire saying that she liked the concept art. Peaks were on brick set way more than the actual sets. I I would actually agree with that as well. I think that the concept art, particularly the way that they have animated the fix and that type of stuff, it just looks really cool and it looks like so much fun. So, um, yeah, but I think it will be interesting to see, <laughs> to see, First of all, if I can figure out how to use <laughs> the app, maybe. We'll see. Don't hold your breath. Um, and then I think that the other thing will be to see how the um, app actually ties in with uh, with the concept art as well. <laughs> so that should be quite good fun to, to have a look at as well. Right. I am getting there, gang, and then we'll just go through and I'll sort out the tiles as well. And then we'll have our final three light little blind bags to open. So it might be a shorter than usual stream this week. Um, and I don't know what else, if there's anything else that I can go through and build with you guys in order to make it up there. <laughs> okay. Oh, didn't work. <laughs> Funny, funny how that happens. Right, mosaic is now done. I'll have a look around and see if there's anything else that I need to do. Oh my gosh, that's wonky. That's going to bother me. Right, there's my little, oh, look, digital mag is here. Hey, I've got my new setup going on, buddy. <laughs> there is the little mosaic on the back of this little beatbox. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's a ghetto blaster. Could be wrong. I don't know. And there's the little fig in there as well, which is super cute as well. So, yeah, really another really cute little um, beatbox. So that's all the beatboxes done. I'll just go through and do the tiles, and then we can open up the final, through, final three little bandmates. I think, I think that that's a new tile, which is kind of cool. Oops, I've got another one of those mummy tiles. I've got another one of the little tomato splat tiles. I've got another one of the little scared faces. I think I've had this one before as well. Yeah. So I seem to be getting a few more double ups in here, but that's okay. Oh, this chicken tile I think is new. So I do actually have another new one, which is kind of cool. Is this clock one new as well? Um... I don't know which way the clock tile goes. I think the clock tile is one that I haven't had before. Oh, my gosh, there's dog fur in here as well as a whole heap of dust. Love the dragon in the mini fig box. Yes, I think that that's going to be another popular one as well. Oh, that's a new one as well. I don't think I've seen that one before. Ah! Oh, yep, yeah, that's a double up, triple up. 
Oops, that's a new one as well. Cool. And a couple more new ones. So we're still getting new ones in here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, this is like being a bloke, stubborn. <laughs> I know some stubborn woman in my life. La, la, la. <laughs> I've not tried the app. No, I'll see how I go. I don't know. I don't know how how I don't know how, if I would be able to even show you guys what's going on with the app or anything like that. I think it might just be a reenactment <laughs> that I'd have to do. The wolf. We've got the wolf. Right. I've just got to check for the unique dials. As I understand, Lego and apps don't have an overly successful history. <laughs> no, I did. I think I did go into the Hidden Side app. I think I did play that a couple of times. Um, but I'm not great. Whoops. I'm not great with computer games. <laughs> no one surprise. What? Oh, I've lost a tile. Oh. 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 Second tile has, has I've fumbled off the table and into the universe. Oops. Oh, and that was the most important tile as well. <laughs> oh, just want the hair pieces and the wings from the new videos. Yes. I I must admit that I am loving the hair pieces that we've been seeing even tonight, but I do recall seeing some fantastic hair pieces in the in wave two of, of the video sets. So I wholeheartedly agree with that. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Digital Magazine. That's so nice. Yes, the water elf shelf is back here. And then eventually the Goblin Village will be over here as well. So, And then I was just talking to the chat only a couple of minutes earlier about adding in some little fairy lights into the trees back here. The uh, Woodland L Shelf is up here as well, and I'll probably add in some fairy lights to that one. There probably won't be as much plants and stuff in the Goblin Village. Well, over on the Goblin Village side, but maybe not the rest of it. But I might add some twinkles sparkliness into that as well <laughs> oh my gosh don't don't get me started on technic control <laughs> plus i don't even know what that is <laughs> that's literally out of my realm of understanding of, of anything lego as soon as technic gets mentioned i'm like i don't know enough about that Right, there's the little wolf dude, which is really cute. I really like the little wolf tail. I think that that might be the same tail that we got with uh, the raccoon from Guardians as well. Another cat. I do have a cat and I do also have that steel drum. So double ups for both of those tiles. But on to the final. And then Joe saying, I know, Jezza, that's why I've stayed away. <laughs> And then I'm just slicing everything up here. I understand the innovation and compatibility concept, but it needs to translate university to universally to all devices to satisfy all customers. Personally, it's not my scene. Old-fashioned building for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It's the most annoying, the, so what's that? The Technic Control Plus is the most annoying Lego tech that they have come up with. Your Technic set nearly got launched out the window? <gasps> That's, oh, my gosh. That would, that would, like, I mean, I'm, I don't really, obviously, clearly, <laughs> I don't really build Technic. I don't pay close attention to Technic. I admire the a lot of the Technic sets from afar. Um, and I also know that a lot of Technic sets are like quite uh, fancy and, and up there in the price range. So even the thought, even the thought of possibly having your Technic set get launched out the window, gosh. Yes, I think that that would be very 
off-putting, <laughs> to say the least, for anything Technic. There's the little rubber. Super cute. I really like the little teal uh, radio boombox. I don't know. Ghetto Blaster. And, yeah, uh, yeah, I thought that you'd enjoy hearing about that for the uh, <laughs> for the elf shelves. <laughs> Love to see some fairy lights. Yes, I know. And I don't know whether or not everyone in the chat will remember, but late last year, I think it was October or November, I think I did tell you guys that when I went to the hardware store, a guy reversed into me and then he was really rude about it and drove off. And in Australia, in order to have, in, particularly in Western Australia where I'm based, in order for anyone to be able to cover the cost of the repair because he was at fault, he reversed out a, a car bay into me while I was waiting to turn around the corner on the little car park road thing. Um is that in order for anyone in Western Australia to track down a driver, you need not one but two parts of information. So you need a number plate and a name or a number plate and a phone number. Uh, obviously, a name, address, driver's licence number is the better way to go. <laughs> uh, and But eventually, eventually, I was able, well, I put in a police report and I contacted my insurance company Eventually, my car was fixed only a couple of weeks ago, which is fine. That's okay. It got fixed. Um, it was in summertime, so I knew that my car door wasn't going to get rusted or anything horrible was going to happen to it too much. I, honestly, I can't figure out how to use these minifigure hands. <laughs> it's a struggle to get pom-poms into the hands of a cheerleader. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. This is ridiculous. I need a mini doll. <laughs> I'm going through mini doll withdrawals. Right, there we go. Pom poms, pom poms activated. Whew, that was that was tough. <laughs> oh, what did I just drop? Oh, a head. <laughs> oh no, the cheerleading head. Uh oh. Jeremy, I think since you've been here, I've dropped two or three things after your comment about having fumble fingers. Oh dear. Right, but I've got her face uh, and her hair. And I do actually really love this hair piece as well. I um, did get this particular hair piece for some of my Harley Quinn dolls, but in the black and the red, because in our Harley Quinn mini dolls, I the hair piece is fine, but it's not that pretty. And I much preferred the Harley Quinn hair piece that looks like this, but in the in the black and the red. Right, another ballerina. And what looks like an Egyptian goddess. Or possibly a Bollywood star. I don't know. One or the other. Um, and it, all that drama that happened at the hardware store and the car and the guy driving off and being rude and having to track him down and contact the police and all of that sort of stuff was <laughs> when I was picking up fairy lights. <laughs> So, yes, the fairy lights do have a tall tale <laughs> to tell. And now back to the chat. Ricky Till is saying, I spent 11 hours building the Technic set, went to get it set up and was having none of it. Five hours later, got it to move <laughs> just. And it nearly flew out the window. Oh, my gosh. And then, oh, just as saying, years ago when he was a young a young wee thing, he used to literally launch old builds out of the window in order to destroy them in readiness for a new build idea. Jezza! <laughs> Smashing fun. Not these days, though, no. <laughs> now that we have a concept of price and worth, it's just like you chase down a one-by-one -one tile. <laughs> it's just like, don't let that escape. I'll need that later. Oh, so I say, there's an idea. If I put a paddling pool under the window to catch the pieces, you may be onto something. Yes. So there's my plates that have got all the parts on them. So like I said earlier, I'll probably go through and set these up so that I can take a few nicer photos for Instagram. And then I can just post those so that then you guys can see where I've got double ups and stuff. 
on this tile tile plate i did start putting in some of the double ups but it's going to take quite a bit of uh <laughs> concentration for me to be able to do that so that's probably going to be a job for future roof more focused roof and all of that type of fun and frivolity <laughs> Uh, yes, treasures. <laughs> um, so we, I, it is, it is only two hours and twenty minutes. So I can build for another forty minutes, which might be quite good fun. So I do still have. Whoa! Almost fell off the chair. That would be a good video. I do still have this set. So um. Do you guys want me to build up the final little Raya set as well? This is the one with the monkeys in it. So I think that that might be quite cute. It's a medium size set. So I think that I might be able to power through it in 40 minutes, which would be kind of fun, especially if you guys are still doing your writing and building and all of that sort of stuff. So let's open this up. Oh, I do have, I don't even need my scissors for this one. Yeah, more building. <laughs> Making the building walls more fun. <laughs> and just as saying, yes, more building as well. Yes, let's do it. Let's open this up. I um I wasn't able to build this one with my ray of string, so I can definitely add this in here for today. Hello. Right. It's, there's just such a big pile of boxes and plastic and all sorts. Oh, lots of stickers. Very pretty stickers over here. Our little instruction book. Uh, bag number two. Let's just tuck you down there on the floor for now. Oh, scissors can go off over here. Oh, maybe that can fit. And then let's open up bag number one. Just throwing out the window. No. Nope. <laughs> I have literally been scrabbling around on the floor uh, trying to find tiles and random parts when I've had massive explosions of, of Lego in the past. So, and then every now and again, I will be looking or, you know, walking around and doing stuff in the house, and you'll see an angle of the room or whatever from a slightly different angle, and it will be like, What's that little lime green thing? Oh, it's a Lego part. <laughs> or if Pucky's lost one of his toys under the furniture or something like that, it will then be like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so funny. Right. We start off with both, oh, both the mini dolls and the monkeys. So that's a really nice start. So mini doll, mini doll, mini doll. Thank goodness I'm back to mini doll. <laughs> I know how to use these ones. Right. Uh, monkey hat, yes. Face, torso, monkey, face. Oh, that is Sisu. And, oops, I should have probably put the box somewhere a little bit more dignified and graceful. So that I can check the characters, yes. Oh. Right, Sisu is done. Let's pop her there. <laughs> Do you like these Raya sets? Very pretty and colourful, yes. Oh, we don't worry about spelling here, Ty. <laughs> as long as I've got a vague idea of what you're trying to say, I can usually decipher it. <laughs> and bound, bone. That's probably terrible pronunciation, terribly Australian pronunciation, where we just sort of make everything sound slightly weird and a little bit odd. Another mini doll. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have mini dolls. The two other little monkeys are very cute. So, Uka and Pan. <laughs> No, no shame. <laughs> Never feel ashamed. The nice thing about my streams is that you don't get marked on spelling, so no points get taken off for poor spelling. 
<laughs> and then this little monkey is Diane. Diane? Oh, terrible Australian pronunciation. Oh, my gosh. And then <laughs> that's what I find as well, especially when you're multitasking. So when you're like watching, listening to a stream and you're building at the same time and then you want to jump in and just type something quickly, I always hit the wrong letters on the, at the wrong time as well. <laughs> and then, oh, my gosh, yes, exactly. When you clean the house, that's the worst, just when you hear the inevitable Lego part getting sucked up the vacuum cleaner and it's just like, no. <laughs> and then there's those moments where you're like going, oh, this mock's looking really fantastic. If only I had one more random assorted part and you just think to yourself that was probably the part that got sucked up the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Oh, my gosh, that's such a crooked, <laughs> it's so crooked. I wasn't concentrating on applying that sticker at all. It's terrible. Right, I'm using Sarah's Sarah's technique to, for sticker removal. <laughs> I'm, I've just been quite blessed that I'm not getting yelled at as much about my poor sticker application at 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. Oh. This is very tricky to apply correctly. Okay. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I did it. Um. <laughs> separate hoover for the lego area i think that we all need that by the sounds of things i'm i'm still in the process of trying to convince uh pucky that he needs to be doing more of the hoovering though since he creates most of the fluff in the house oh, oh gosh that's very crooked as well <laughs> Okay, maybe I won't be putting stickers on this set tonight unless they're very simple. I don't think that trying to add in stickers onto a curved canoe piece that's triangular-shaped stickers is, is the way to go on Saturday night. Okay, let's, let's, I can do this. Let's get this. I've got it. Good. Ah, lost it. Got it again. I got it back, gang. It's okay. <laughs> right. Focus. I need to focus. <laughs> and try not to shake too much out of pure sticker applying joy and enthusiasm. Uh, I can't. I can't. I think that's okay. It's not the best. It's not the best sticker application, but it's okay. Some parts just want to die. You just can't find them until it's too late. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I say my whole apartment is the Lego area. I would actually say that that's pretty much how my place has ended up as well. Originally, this was only meant to be the Lego area, and then the Lego spread into the dining table, into the spare bedroom. There's a small collection of lego builds in the in the lounge room area as well i have been known to take a few photos in the kitchen as well so it's sprawled and then uh one of my family friends has very generously let me uh use one of their rooms as a lego room as well so it's even sort of gone uh, into, into a second second building as well. Although I think that that might be changing soon. I actually think that I need to move out of that Lego room um, shortly, which is a bit um, frustrating, but I understand. Um, I can't complain about that. It's, it's a fair call, but I was just like, I don't know where to put my Lego. Right. Let's, I will try and do these, this flag. And if I do okay, oh, my gosh, and Gollum is saying it happened to me today. <laughs> I went up the vacuum cleaner. 
Ties going, yep, they're in there mingling with the spiders and other creepy crawlies. Now you have to decide if you really need that <laughs> that piece. And Jess is saying, nice, my bedroom is my Lego area. Yes, I know. I think that that's actually the only place that I don't have Lego is my bedroom. Now the question is, do I dig through the bag of dust to find out what it was? <laughs> if it was that one very important piece, yes. <laughs> That's always the way. <laughs> and Ty say, yes, my bedroom area is, that my bedroom is my Lego area too, but those one by ones know where to hide. Oh, my gosh, I know. They're so sneaky. Another brickling corner of this. <laughs> Oh dear, I oh know, I oh know. It's always the way, isn't it? And then Digital Magazine saying I had the same problem with applying the stickers and I saw someone on Instagram using a brick se separator for more satisfying results. I tried that and loved it. That's so cool. To be honest, I haven't tried. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether or not I've got the hand-eye coordination for it. <gasps> That's the dream, Kaz. Oh, my gosh. Imagine that. I think everyone here would just absolutely die for that. A guy in the UK who bought a whole house next door to his family home just to store and display his Lego. I like his style. Oh, my gosh. He's living the dream, man. <laughs> He's living the dream. That's fantastic. Life goals, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't remember his name. He was on a documentary a while back. Oh, I don't I don't blame you for not being able to remember who he was. I think that that's quite mind blowing. <laughs> right. The little little canoes built with the oar. I don't know how to make sure that the oar and the canoe stay together, so we'll just sort of leave them there next to each other. Joe's going to be going to talk to her neighbours. <laughs> That's an awesome idea. We'll all be knocking on the door going, um, never thought of moving out. <laughs> I need somewhere to put my Lego. I think, um, I think ultimately it would be nice eventually at some stage in my life to actually move somewhere a bit more country. And so I think that if I was able to move somewhere a bit more country, then there would be the possibility of potentially finding somewhere with a um, large, like, rec room or shed or something or another. That's my dream, <laughs> is to have some sort of area um, for the Lego sprawl. It would be absolutely amazing Um to have like an area big enough to constantly be adding to a Lego city. I think that that's one of the reasons why a lot of us enjoy watching like Jang's city. Like, I mean, I enjoy watching Jang's city updates. Um, and then uh, Dr. McBrick also has like quite a big city, although I think that he's recently moved. And so I think that that would just be like the dream. It would be so cool. I'd absolutely love that. Maybe one day. One day eventually we might get there. <laughs> or we'll all just be knocking on the neighbour's door going, um, what are your thoughts on Lego? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And Gollum's saying, wow, I just heard one German guy also bought an apartment close to his to break through the wall for his Leto city in the planning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> sure the neighbours could live in the attic. Exactly. Move all the people into one house and all the Lego into the other. And I'm saying I'm still dreaming for an apartment for our family, not for Lego, yes. You know, and it's, again, I think it's one of those things, like in Australia, we, like, I mean, there are people that live in apartments. Uh, Cassie, one of my friends, she has, a, has an apartment quite close to where we work together um, and all of that sort of stuff. But by and large, Australians do tend to have quite a lot of room. Um. But <laughs> we cannot build a basement or an attic to save our lives. <laughs> That's the bit that I'm particularly dirty on because I'm just, like, going, I'd be happy to stay here if I had an attic that had the same, like, 
floor space as what my house does to put all my Lego in. <laughs> I could get behind that plan as well. <laughs> what more do they want? An attic. That's fine. <laughs> I can survive in there. How much space do they need? They should be just happy with enough room to cook a bacon buddy and to eat a sausage roll and that'll be that. <laughs> Have a thought of moving out. Nothing like a hard hitting hint. Priorities are evident here. <laughs> oh dear. It, yeah, it's kind of kind of terrible that all of us are just like going oh my gosh yes we will we'll we'll figure out a way to move our neighbors out so we can get more lego room oh my gosh yes we'll have to have a look found it just google michael lee count lego house oh lucky michael oh dear lucky lucky michael Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, no, that's okay, Claire, that's fine. <laughs> Turns out to be way too interesting to have on in the background. I'm not getting any work done. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to go. Yes, go and get your work done. I'm sure that so many of us will be looking forward to more photos or videos or whatever you're up to as well, so that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Jez is saying you could live in a small caravan in the garden and reserve the rest of the house for Lego. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Not sure if the wife and kids would agree, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> can't for much. No. <laughs> and then Ty saying, just had a look. I now have Lego Envy. Okay, I've, I know that this is probably not the most riveting content, but I am going to have to quickly have a look on my phone. Michael, the count, let go, go. <gasps> oh my gosh, lucky Michael. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And his part storage is insane. In a good way, but you know. Fantastic. Okay, I will I won't I won't do that too much on stream, but I just had to check it out. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. that's okay, Joe. It's always nice just having you around, even if it's just for a little while. Take care, my friend, and I'm sure that we will end up catching up at some stage or another soon anyway. Cool. Uh, where am I up to? Right. We've got more of this little thing to go up. It's nice that um, Joe said, said goodbye to us all. Oh, Pucky's just down here. <laughs> He's having a rummage. I think he got, yeah, I think that he got carried away when he heard all the excitement about the Lego house. Do you want to move into a Lego house? Yeah. He's doing a little ear flap as well. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Rikish, take care. Hope you get it all sorted. Catch you later. And uh, if the wife doesn't agree, move her to the attic. <laughs> oh, dear. It's far too much fun going on here today. Right. I am just... Oh, oh yeah, no, that's okay. Just putting these little bits on. I will just add in this little section and then I'll... Uh, I don't know if I can show you this very easily. <laughs> so just building up like a little deck and jetty area. And then it, <laughs> the attic would have Lego in it too. <laughs> that's, why, that's why Jess is going outside of Lego. <laughs> it's like... 
the house, all the house is reserved for Lego. We'll just be living in a caravan in the garden. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh stick our focus. Uh, uh, okay, yep, that's cool. <laughs> Pucky, yeah, Pucky's mooched off again, which is already cool. And then Simone, oh, I'll have to have a quick Google of this and then look into it more once I am. Um, off stream i have actually seen a few youtube videos on um eh? on uh different people building lego pet homes oh <laughs> really cute um a few different uh yeah lego or yeah people building pet homes out of lego as well which is actually really cute too uh, is that an extra paddle oh, I don't know. right um so there are a few but the, <laughs> the thing with pucky he's very spoiled and so he doesn't actually really have like a dog space his space is just everywhere. He just is, he just goes everywhere. So I, in in my younger years, a lot of my pets were a lot more well behaved and more respectful of things like not sitting on the sofa and, you know, dogs weren't allowed on the bed and all of this sort of stuff. <laughs> and then Pucky just got spoiled. <laughs> heard the roof is a nice time it's nice this time of year <laughs> oh dear yeah Ex exactly there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that um oh this only um okay right that's okay this only has one sticker on it which is kind of okay Oh, exactly. It it just be like camping, camping on the roof. Lots of fun. I just still can't get over the fact that the that that guy just has a whole second house for his Lego stuff. That's just amazing. Right, adding in flowers. Um Right, and, well, leaves, leaves with flowers on them. And we've got, like, a magenta with the coral colour, which is kind of an interesting combination for a little bit of pop of floral stuff. I actually don't mind those two colours together. Um, I think that they were put together on the Popstar bus, but obviously with, like, the white and um, the teal as well. But just with the magenta actually looks kind of pretty. Don't know how well you guys will be able to see that, but, yeah, it's cool. Looks kind of a little bit like cherry tree-ish in a way. This chair is so squeaky, though. I don't know whether or not you guys can hear it, but it's really squeaky. <laughs> it didn't start off this squeaky, and the longer that the stream's gone on, the squeakier it's gotten, which is not necessarily a very good sign. I can just imagine at some point the whole thing's just going to be like, oh, <laughs> you'll see me disappear. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, that little thing. And then it looks like we are putting together maybe a bowl of soup. Some sort of nice, yummy-looking dish. Or are they lollies or something? I don't know. I'm not much, I'm not much of a cook. 
or an expert in Asian cuisine. Love the cherry tree blossoms. We have some around our estate. Uh, one of my favourite times of the year. Oh my gosh, yes, I wholeheartedly would agree with that. It is just, there is something to be said around just having like different coloured foliage. Um, one of the things that I thought was really nice, well, is really nice uh, here, in, here in Perth and I'm sure other parts of Australia as well is that we do get ja the jacaranda trees, which are like purple. <laughs> Inspiration <laughs> for back here. And it is just, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it was also really nice to see that they had jacaranda trees, I think, in South Australia. And then one of my friends who was from uh, South America also said that they have jacaranda trees as well, I think. So um, did I say South Australia or South Africa? South Africa, I think, had them. I know that they had eucalyptus trees. Um, and I think that there are a few places here in, in WA where we do have cherry blossom trees, but nowhere near as much as um uh, the northern hemisphere places cool that looks like that little build is now done oh no hang on oops i've still got to put on the awning <laughs> i went in too fast gang now once i've done the awning then we get to start on the boat but that was that was the build so far And we just get to do the awning section. Oh, this is going to be a bit trickier to try and lay out these prints. But I shall do my best. All any of us can do. Oh, bricky tires. <laughs> I love them too. Just not having to park my car underneath them. Oh, my gosh, I know. There's um some trees like that. Uh, near near where I work and they have like uh, like figs on them which is sort of fine um and it's nice to park under under shade especially uh during the summertime here in Perth but oh my gosh the splatters is just an absolute nightmare to try and then deal with oh, that kind of looks okay oh yum yay Jez is heading off to cook up a curry. Sounds absolutely glorious. Great stream and thank you. Thanks so much for popping by, Jez. It's always great to have you in the stream. There's our little awning. There's our little build looking super cute. Loving it. Now we get to start on the boat. And everyone's just going to say... <laughs> Uh, grab a bacon buddy and sausage roll soon check the hoover if you dare <laughs> words of advice words to live by <laughs> did someone say pur purple <laughs> oh mama lego is here hello it's lovely to have you join us i have built up my, all the all the wave one video beat boxes and little figures but i'm now building up the last uh, Raya set that I didn't get to the other day. Oh, <laughs> completely put that part on at the wrong spot. And Pucky's just come back into the room as well. He's just down here. Right, starting on the boat. Did did we say purple? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Kaz. You're 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 confusing me, <laughs> which is not that difficult. As, as many of us know. Um, right, the base of the boat is what, oops, is what's happening now. I hope that you have been well, Mama Lego, and that things are going good for you over in Canada. Right. There's the start of our boat. Let's keep powering through the last of bag number one. Cool. Add in more these bits. Oh, Pucky's back on the sofa. <laughs> right. 
Um, this. Okay, that in there. These coral pieces in here. Neon coral. Is that what we're still calling them? I don't know. That's probably not their official name. No doubt I have that <laughs> incorrect. I still say pale minty green as well, which is this sort of colour instead of, is it light aqua, light turquoise? I don't know. Cool. And these little side bits. Oh, and then we have finished bag number one. So we get to power through onto bag number two. Right, lots of little extra parts there. Where did I put bag number two? Oh, down there. <laughs> oh, so I think that we probably will go over our normal three hours a little bit, but this will be the last build for today. But at least then we will have all the Raya sets built. We've got all the video sets um, sorted and, and, well, not sorted, but opened and, and built and everything. Yeah. So we'll see how we go. Oh, and we get another one of those uh, printed maps as well for, from the Raya sets too, which I really love. Those little red uh, maps, which look really fantastic. So I'm really pleased that we've got some more of that part in this set. What does that? Where does that go? Oh no, that goes there. Right. Cool. And everyone must be busy in the chat doing their thing. I don't think I pulled up your comment, Mama Lego. <laughs> Sorry. You can tell that it is getting later and later as the chat goes on, depending on how, <laughs> where I can get to with all the comments and everything. Right. More of these. I must admit, I do actually really like the design of this boat. Um, I do think that it looks really quite um, interesting compared to a lot of the other um, sort of boat builds that I've sort of seen from Lego, which is kind of cool. <laughs> that sounds fair enough. Rick of Golem reached the limit <laughs> of Lego sorting patience. Oh, hang on. Oops, I've gone backwards. I've gone backwards already. In, have a really lovely weekend as well. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by and saying hello to us all in the stream. It's always lovely to have you here and it's nice to know that other people are doing their Lego thing as well while I'm building. <laughs> so yes, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend if I didn't say that already. Oh my gosh, I'm getting very uh, befuddled. <laughs> Right, it is. It is going to be a matter of, oops, a matter of powering, powering through this build. Uh oh, I put this on at the wrong spot. Put this on the wrong spot. Now it's all falling apart. La, 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 la. Right, focus, focus, focus. Is Oh, question. Is it Mother's Day in Australia tomorrow? I think so. <laughs> I did wish my mum happy Mother's Day last week. <laughs> and I said to her, is it, is it Mother's Day today? Happy Mother's Day. And she was like, I don't know, it might be. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, but to be fair, I absolutely love my mum. She is super amazing and uh, I lovely human being so I do feel that I try and make sure that it's Mother's Day most days for her because she does deserve that and M is here hello hope that you are keeping well M Prod. I have finished building up all the video sets you can see a little bit of them here um, and I'm just building up the last Raya set that I didn't get to last week, which is the boat build, which is kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I probably will go over my normal three hours this uh, week. But, uh, yeah, that's all. That's all good. We've had a very, very lovely stream today. So it's amazing. 
slowly getting there with these walls. <laughs> it's going to be a slow process. Uh, they don't look they don't look pretty as multicolored, but need to know what parts to order. <laughs> yeah, that's the way that it usually goes. I know it's it is actually quite tricky sometimes to try and figure out what uh, extra parts we need and all of that sort of thing. So every now and again, I do try and go through and do a bit of an order of my uh, wanted lists on Bricklink, and even then, sometimes I end up ordering multiples of one part and <laughs> completely forgetting other parts. And it's just like, oh gosh, I just wish I was more organised with that sort of thing, but. I'm sure I, well, I, I'm fairly confident that I will end up using all extra parts that I get anyway at some point or another. Right, bolt. Cool. So there's the boat so far. I am supposed to put these stickers on these parts, but I probably won't do that tonight because I don't think that I've got the focus to be able to do that tonight. And because they're on like external wall parts, then I'm just going to do that later. <laughs> As I've said before, it's a job for future Ruth. We'll do that potentially tomorrow morning sometime or tomorrow at some stage or another along with the few other bits and pieces that I want to try and get done. Right, more of these little attachment pieces here. I do actually really like the uh, colour scheme of this as well. It seems to be a lot more sort of naturalistic compared to <laughs> different sets, other princess sets, which is, you know, not saying it's better or worse. It's just sort of a different... different um, something a bit different to build, a different colour palette to look at, which is always quite nice. And yeah, and I think that the other, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see more of the sets that's going to be. I 100% uh, agree with you, Ty. <laughs> I. I, I am definitely one of those people that needs to be able to see it and build it and put it together in order to be able to figure out how I want it to look and all of those sorts of things, definitely. Not saying that that's better or worse, it's just different things, different skills that people have and all of that type of thing. So I, um, yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Even, even a lot of the time for me, I need to quite often, particularly with like my own builds and that type of stuff, I need to leave them there <laughs> somewhere where I can look at it, look at them for quite a while and then sort of go backwards and forwards to try and figure out what bits I like, what bits I don't and all of that type of stuff. Oh, Joe is back! <laughs> Refusing to be defeated by the internet. <laughs> Yes, well, I'm just glad that you're here. Even don't, but don't, don't stress about your internet. It's, it's, it happens. It's just one of those things, isn't it? There's kind of like a little croissanty detail on the side of the boat. I don't know how easy you guys can see that. Like I said, I, while I do have my new setup at the moment, I think that there probably needs to be some more refinement going on here <laughs> so uh i think a less squeaky oh my gosh i just dropped my croissant a less squeaky chair is going to be part of that better lighting i think is going to be another part of that oh i've gone fuzzy oh no i'm back and then hopefully i can get my little adapter thing so that i can have my other microphone in as well I'm trying not to be defeated by not sleeping. <laughs> em, you're meant to be getting some sleep. <laughs> Ricky time saying, don't let it get to you. See if you would like a bacon buddy as a, or see if it would like a bacon buddy as a peace offering. <laughs> exactly. 
whatever, whatever can to convince the the internet to to work. Does it take bacon? <laughs> what what does it need? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and my name is to get out of the house. <laughs> We're just like carrying boxes of Lego over, <laughs> going, hi, <laughs> just making new friends. Um, this little part, just putting in some more details of another one of those little cooking pots and a little table with a teapot <laughs> and M and Joe are saying hello to each other right now uh, right more little box type things I am going to once again risk putting this sticker on I think I should be <laughs> not giving my bacon buddy away you know the d internet doesn't deserve bacon <laughs> it can get dry toast and a glass of water with its current behavior <laughs> just as i see it i'm going to risk putting a square sticker on a square tile i absolutely shank it oh dear i'm getting too excited by what's happening in the chat you guys are making me laugh too much today Right, parcel. Next thing is the parcel. Oh, and a star goes in the parcel. Right. Whoop. Uh, oh, and this has a little shrimp on it. Is it a star or is it meant to be a shrimp? I've got something weird stuck to my hand. <laughs> my nose kicked me off their couch, dang. <laughs> uh, em, I think that you might have missed it in the chat. We were talking about... Um, where we have lego in our house so is it our bedrooms is it the lounge do we have a separate lego room is it just everywhere um and then uh, kaz from blockhead uk mentioned that there is actually a guy in the uk who bought the house next door to his so that then he could have that house just full of all his lego stuff <laughs> So now we all want to just go over and, and invade our neighbour's home. <laughs> Make, create some extra space for our Lego. <laughs> See if the neighbours want to make a buddy in exchange for their house. It may work. There are probably some days where that would work as well, I, I would suspect. There's been many a morning... <laughs> I've been thinking to myself what I would give for a bacon buddy. Right. Again, I'm not going to add the sticker to this part. <laughs> yes. The internet doesn't get bacon, but the neighbours might. <laughs> okay, okay. More parts put together. Cool. Does anyone know if Sarah's streaming tonight, today? I don't think that she is. I haven't seen a little stream of hers pop up yet for, for tonight. But it's always handy to know who else is streaming. Right. That goes there. And then I get this bit. Right. <laughs> right I am powering through hopefully oh, I think I've gone a bit quiet as well you can tell whenever I'm concentrating because I go a bit quiet and it's usually getting later as well where I'm struggling to try and uh, come up with a variety, wide variety of topics to discuss I think that we've had so much to talk about today um, with all the with all the video sets and everything more parts putting it together it looks like this is like a little veggie sort of thing and I am going to try and add whoops this <laughs> this sticker I keep saying that and I'm just saying oh I don't know 
should I be adding this sticker? Is it going to go okay? Or am I going to stuff it up again? That one went fine. <laughs> okay, more of this and this and that. Cool. So we've so I've just made up this like little veggie section, which you may or may not be able to see. Uh, in front of my face might be better. And then that goes in the little crate here, which is really cute. And I think that we can actually press it down. So when we lift up this section is that it doesn't all fall out. Kind of cool. Kind of like that. And then more of these. Another one of these like little parts. And one of these little handle doodaddles. <laughs> Good luck with the sticker. Oh my gosh, I know. It's been a sticker disaster with me tonight. <laughs> oh, I love stickers. Just have to put them on in complete silence. I know, me too. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that we're alone in that time. <laughs> and I don't know whether or not you're making fun of me because every time I put on a sticker, it's like, Shh. <laughs> nobody say anything. <laughs> Everything goes quiet. We all breathe in. <sighs> right, let's pop this bit on. Oops, there's dog fur. Oh, dog fur. So that's where the little boat is up to, looking really cute. Again, we do need to pop stickers on those little teal parts, but like really detailed. Again, I really like the colours as well because it sort of makes it appear a lot more sort of natural and uh, yeah, it's nice. I'm liking it. I can definitely see like this this build being added in to like a Ninjago area of someone's city or something like that. If Kaz is still in the chat, hint, hint. <laughs> I know that Kaz put some of the Hidden Side uh, modified sets into her Ninjago city as well. So Ninjago area of her city. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. Right, another flag. Again, <laughs> I might just leave this flag. It's meant to have like a little shrimp sticker on it, but I think I, I'm going to just leave that for tonight. That might be the wise, wise choice for today. A couple of the Technic pins. And then I'm quite liking this look as well, which gets attached into there. So I actually still haven't seen uh, the Raya movie yet either. I think I might have missed it in, in cinemas as well somehow now I think that this bit is going to be like the little shrimp design that goes on the top of the boat so there is like a little shrimp prawn looking character and so I suspect that that's what I am building now Oh, giving me an idea. Can you use Raya Dragon as a girlfriend for my Ninjago dragons? Yes, completely. I, um, yeah, which has actually reminded me, I did actually take some photos earlier this week, who, which I didn't get around to posting on Instagram because I'm useless at social media. Oh, dear. Um, where I have got four dragons together the jungle dragon the ninjago jungle dragon the sisu the raya dragon and then i got two of my elves dragons so i've got the water, little water dragon and then i've got, also got the little earth, earth dragon as well marina and thorn <laughs> 
Oh, Kaz is saying that she looked at the boat, but to be honest, it looked a bit big compared to the others on the water with the exception of Destiny's Bounty. I would probably say it is more comparable in size to the Hidden Side Tugboat, fishing boat. It might just look out of it might just look out of scale depending on what you have next to it. Um, but but again, <laughs> playing playing matchmaker, yeah. Oh yeah, I that's the first Ninjago set that I've ever gotten, and I think that I mainly ended up getting the Jungle Dragon because I was going through Dragon Withdrawal because <laughs> we haven't had Elves Dragons for ages. So oh, I will apply the little patchwork stickers onto these bits because I don't think that it's going to make a huge amount of difference if I go a bit uh, useless. <laughs> and I just applied the best sticker that I've done all night. <laughs> so I'm just saying the word useless. Maybe that's the secret. Oh, dear. Oh. That's probably the best sticker application that I've done all night. Oh, dear. That's typical. That's just typical. And and I did actually go and have a look at some of the other dragons that are coming out because I know that Elle was talking about the water dragon and I also had a look at that one and... Um, and then I also looked, saw that there was a fire dragon as well. And I thought it was kind of interesting that we've got the earth dragon, the water dragon, the fire dragon, and then we've also got the wind dragon. So I think that if Ninjago ends up with four dragons, then that's going to be kind of too tempting for me to resist. <laughs> And I'm saying, absolutely, they want to stay in my city and then have an arranged marriage. <laughs> exactly. We just match make them off. <laughs> it's like, okay, you guys can get paired up together. Right. A little shrimp head, I think. Oh, Joe. I know, it feels weird, doesn't it? Um yeah like the last the last probably month or so I have been building and building sets and stuff like that I've obvious clearly I've been very slow at uploading videos and all of that type of stuff um but again it was even really difficult to put any energy and effort into doing any mocks and and that type of thing as well and then this week I tell you it's just been like I don't know. I've just got my little bit of creative burst back again, which is really cool. Um, which is where I was able to sort of finish off a lot of my jasmine build and my snow white cottage um, and powered through a lot of that stuff. I've been doing a little bit more on my goblin village as well. So that's been kind of cool too. So yeah, I think it just sort of comes and goes um, depending on how we're traveling and what else is going on in our life and all of that type of thing as well. Um, and I think that we've also just got to acknowledge that it's been really strange, like, 12, 12, 18 months. You know, it's been a very strange sort of world over the past sort of little while as well. So I think that we've all just got to give ourselves a little bit of a break over that sort of stuff as well. So... You know, and I think it's also one of those things where um, sometimes if we force ourselves to try and do something uh, like Lego or something creative, it, it, it then is more challenging or more difficult when it sort of doesn't work out the way that we want. Oh, this is cute. Right. I think I've only got a couple of bits to add. Oh, I do. Oh. <laughs> but I'm missing <laughs> I'm missing something <laughs> a one by two why is there a one by two here where were you supposed to go damn it <laughs> a one by two should not be left over 
that's that's probably that's what I needed for Winnie the Pooh last year. <laughs> and then Ty is saying, I'm trying not to buy, buy display sets is concentrating on the city, but it's not working. <laughs> Cheers, Lego. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Lego. <laughs> You're coming out with far too many really great sets. <laughs> it's upsetting my mojo. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put the map in there. Oh, it's a knockover of my video characters. Whoopsies. Oh, Chop is here. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to have you here, just as I was finishing up my final build. But we'll stay on and chat for a little bit longer, mate. <laughs> and then Joe is saying, I know, Ty, I'm trying to get all the Rogue One sets and Lego keeps throwing all these desirable sets at me. <laughs> and Elle saying, I can't find my black bracket brick drawer. <laughs> I know, Lego problems. <laughs> Let's Lego lie. So there is the little boat that we have. I actually really like it. I think that it's really cute. Um, again, once the stickers go on these uh, teal pieces, then that's going to bring in a little bit more detail on those sort of big expanses of colour. But I think that it looks really cute. Everything that's in the boat is quite detailed, which I really like. Oh, and then I've still got stickers to pop on there as well. I really like this little side build. I think that that looks really cute as well. Again, very detailed, something a little bit different, something that we don't usually sort of see from Lego as well. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. I think it looks awesome. It's really cool. I can see this sort of floating around someone's sort of Lego city at some stage or another. So... Yeah, and then I also really like the figs in here. Well, the mini dolls. I know that not all of you guys will call them figures, but, yeah, the mini dolls look really cute in here. Oops, let's pop you there. Let's pop him. Oh, you're supposed to be up here, are you? Yep, let's pop you there. Oh, th oh that's where. Okay, so he's supposed to be holding on to this. <laughs> I'm just figuring out how the boats actually move. Oh my gosh, I can't put anything into anyone's hands tonight. <laughs> I can't do it, gang. I was barely able to put any of the video sets together and they're all holding on to stuff. And this poor bloke can't even paddle his canoe, his boat, without things going very pear-shaped. Right, he's there. Let's add in the monkeys. I think there's meant to be a monkey on the, on this boat. Let's pop this little monkey here. Let's pop this little monkey over here. And then we've got another little cute monkey to go. Oh, hang on. No, this monkey's meant to go that way. Yeah? I don't know. And then I need another spot for another monkey. Oh, this monkey can go down here. Okay. <laughs> Yay! I always miss her streams. I know, it's time difference, isn't it? But uh, as I don't know whether or not you can tell, <laughs> Chop, but I do have a new setup, so I can actually leave my webcam in here all set up, uh, which will make it heaps easier for me to ch uh, chat as well. Kaz is saying it's butt job. <laughs> Hi, Kaz. What a great chat, yes. <laughs> Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Exactly. All the cool kids are here, of course. I've got all the best people with me in the chat as well. Joe's saying hello. <laughs> Chop saying yes. It's been a great stream. Very funny and <laughs> entertaining makes building more fun. Love the setup. Thank you. Yes. I have said that I will probably be adding in some fairy lights into the trees over here. This shelf will end up being an elf shelf eventually as well. And then I might put some fairy lights in here with um, Winnie the Pooh and uh, my Lion King uh, mock as well. Eventually this 
shelf over here will end up getting all terrain and plants and everything built down here as well oh mama lego saying goodbye lovely to have you watching for a little while mama lego thanks so much for joining us and um yeah and so all the terrain will get built in there and that's going to be like my little shopping district but again i think that once the fairy lights get added it will make it a little bit more twinkly and sparkly in the background this yes so this is the oops the the raya uh, raya and the last dragon the boat so yes i have gotten the flower bouquet i don't have the bonsai tree yet so that's another set that i'd probably try and pick up before the new wave starts but i'm pretty sure that that's the last set that i will have to get for the january june sort of wave that's that's there oh yeah poly bags are just so hard to come by in australia it's 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 virtually impossible for us to ever get a poly bag here in australia which is super super frustrating um but yeah so i'll have to double check on uh bricklink and see if i can find any sellers that have got a few of the poly bags that i've missed out on because i also missed out on the rapunzel one as well which i would have really liked to have gotten hold of and then i think that there might be one or two harry potter poly bags um, that i'll be trying to to grab as well um yeah i think there's been i think that there is three sets plus the poly bag in this in this one i don't know yeah so the two of them i built in my stream i think last last week so we've got the palace or the palace which is actually really quite nice i think that sloth sort of said that this section of the palace looks a bit out of scale which is kind of true and then there's also like the little dragon as well which is kind of a cute build too and i think that the dragon set and this set are probably around about the same <laughs> same size ty saying got the bonsai but not the flower bouquet i know <laughs> i do want the bonsai tree um I think that that was only at Lego for a while, but I have a funny feeling that now there's a few other stores that have got that one as well. So um, I'll probably end up grabbing it from Kmart or Big W or something like that as well. I got the flower bouquet too, haven't built it yet. Yeah. Um, I think both Sarah from Sarah Starbricks and myself struggled with the build. I think both of us built it on live streams and I don't know whether or not that was necessarily a wise idea. I think that the instruction book that I had had the black pages as well, which was a bit of a struggle. And then I think that because I was reading and streaming and chatting and building all at the same time, I got distracted in a few sections and went <laughs> very wildly wrong. <laughs> And it was one of those things where I actually have a few of the flower pieces displayed in a vase in my lounge room, which I think look really cool and I think that it looks really nice. But the build process was <laughs> quite intense. Yeah, the dragon. I think that the dragon is really cool. It's quite is quite skinny. I haven't got the flower cart either. No. The the I like I mean I've never been able to find poly bags in Australia a lot of the other Australians that I know that get Lego say that they can't find poly bags in Australia either I don't know why that is it's just one of those things <laughs> Joe is saying got the bonsai tree and love it I remember you built that thing ages ago when it first came out which was awesome and Ty saying, serious shortage in the UK for the flower bouquet. Hope it's in stock soon. Saves me buying the Mrs. Room flowers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like honestly, it is. It's a really, really pretty finished build. I will say that it does look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, top. Uh, that would be hugely appreciated. <laughs> and usually, what? Uh, yeah. That would be awesome i'll i'll um try and message you maybe on instagram or something so we can maybe chat about that usually i prefer to pay people for postage or the poly bags or whatever and it's usually really handy just to chuck it in paypal and stuff so yeah if if it's easy for you to come across any of the poly bags <laughs> the princess 
all the friends poly bags, then that would be amazing. That would be awesome. But again, don't go into any trouble around that either. Um, quite often, Angela from Geo the Jedi, if she sees poly bags that she knows that I like, she'll grab them for me as well. So there's a few, there's a few really nice <laughs> Americans that I know that keep an eye out for me as well, which is awesome. It's one of the things that I absolutely love about uh, the Lego community, which is wonderful. Cool. I am just realising, though, that we have almost clocked up at three and a half hours for a stream. Pucky has taken over the couch <laughs> and is very, very sound asleep, which is fantastic. Oh, wow. Kaz is saying if you can get to a Lego store at any time, they have loads of bouquets despite being out of stock online for ages. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thanks, Shop. But yeah, it's yeah, I just it's just amazing. I think that you and I are, are very much on the same page around how much the Lego community means to us. Our little corners of the internet is just absolutely fantastic. No, you're never late to a stream. I always think that provided that people are doing something wonderful for their weekend, even if they can pop in for five minutes and say hello, it's awesome. And I know that not everyone can make every stream as well. It's the same thing, time differences and all of that type of stuff. And as I always say, <laughs> because I live in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> of course that's going to happen. So, yeah, but again... I, it's absolutely fantastic. I had such a lovely stream tonight. I am quite enjoying my new setup. So I think it will take me a little while to finish off some of the other details and get a few other bits and pieces happening here. I'm not liking the huge difference between <laughs> you guys over there and me looking at the chat, but I don't know. I might be able to finagle some of this. This is a system in here as well, but we'll just see how I, how I go <laughs> with things. <laughs> I might even end up uh, sharing, I don't know, maybe I might do an updated room tour or something like that as well because I think it would probably, that I, I quite enjoy seeing updated Lego room tours. <laughs> so we'll see uh, if I can do something like that for you guys as well. And like I said um, earlier, I will try and go through the different beat fits that I got with all the video sets and do a few photos of them on Instagram as well, maybe tomorrow. And then I'll also have to try and remember to post the dragon pictures as well for you, Ty. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yes. I used to get up super early on Saturdays for the Lego Dads streams. Oh, I know. Thanks, Ty. It's always fun that you, whenever you pop into the chat as well. In, yes, I know. You need a break from your Lego wall building. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Yes, very much for you as well. And uh, all the best with building up your support walls and all of that type of stuff too. And then now I should get up early to catch you. <laughs> Sometimes the sleeping is what's really needed though. That's fine. And then yes, beat bit photos. Okay, cool. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll, I'm actually going to put that next to my cup here and remember to move that into my dining table. So I'll take the photos tomorrow. Thanks, Joe. You're lovely. And it's always fun to have you in the chat. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Yes. Alrighty. Whoever else is left out there in my little Lego stream world, it was absolutely um, wonderful to have you join me tonight. And I'm glad that you really enjoyed the new setup and all of that type of stuff. And um, yeah, it'll be all fan, uh, fun to be able to try and uh, jump in and do a few more surprise streams every now and again as well and then also hopefully it will make things a lot easier to sort of be able to have guests and all of that type of stuff on as well cool great to see everyone yes thank you so much for joining us as well digital magazine great stream <laughs> kaz is still writing your review oh no Take care. Enjoy the review, though. I'm sure that you've got lots of wonderful insights to share with us all as well. So take care all. <laughs> and hopefully we will be able to see each other soon. Um, if not beforehand, definitely next Saturday as well. 